when last we left our brave heroes, they fought against a pair of vampires. Or what they assume were vampires, as they appeared in and out of Red Mist. And a young boy from the village that they had all grown rather fond of was taken, sucked into the Red Mist. They knew where they had to go, to the mansion of Madame Seltradat. A lady who had been here quite some time. Perhaps not the first here, but one of the first. When they arrived, they met the madam, a tall, beautiful, raven-haired woman in a bit of a revealing white dress, standing next to a statue of herself. When the party was talking to her, she told them not to touch anything and not to harm anyone in her house, and they were free to look for the boy Dimitri as they wished. However, Zir, being the inquisitive little scamp that she is, was looking for ways to access doors, and unfortunately happened upon a door that went to nowhere. She fell to her death, shattered upon the rocks, only to be returned with a strange black mark on the back of her hand. And that is where we will rejoin our adventurers. Madame Seltradot is still in the room. You are welcome to do whatever you'd like. Don't all jump up at once. We're still in that little... We'd stepped out into like the sort of... Mm -hmm. Into the uh, entryway, yes, correct. Okay. Yes, Zir has walked off. So drop drop my creepy character voice here for a second. <laughs> Zir is Zir... not with y'all at the moment. She walked off towards the upstairs bedroom area. Right. Okay, this I will move right you on the map then. This is right Thanks. after we had that uh, squabble, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, a ghost, a minotaur ghost yelled at all of you and told you to shut the fuck up. Uh, it's actually, it did, yeah. not, it did not yell at me. No, specifically, it yelled at Clovis. Yeah, <laughs> which he did deserve. Yeah, well, I probably yelled a little bit at Bosric, too. He was being a little a little rough. Hmm. Aren't um, we all? I, I will say, Madame Seltradot is just kind of leaning against her statue with her arms folded, and she has a smile on her face. The sort of smile that a mother would have when their children are acting up. Hmm. I'm just there uh, holding my uh, intellect devour. <laughs> and just, I'll, I'll just be kind of uh, talking to it. And uh, I'll just be talking to Mary and getting a little bit of a layout of like how far away up down where the presences that it discovered are. Okay. Um, We're still searching for the boy. Yes, I think we we can't really leave him here. I can't, anyway, and I don't think Mizora can either. From my uh, area over else? No, I can't. Oh. Then I don't particularly want to search alone. Can I join somebody. I, we ought to be a little bit more careful, clearly. Yes, I think um, I think group travel is, is wise. Hmm. Well, where to first? How many per group first? Maybe we I... all stick together this time. We've all got a lot of various helpful skills, and I think we stand the best chance of not dying so long as we, um, you know, cover as many of our bases as we can. Look at that. Wisdom at last from the bookish one. Well, if you've no further need of me, I have a meeting with the fellow rulers here. The other three do... Need a little bit of management from time to time, so the rules remain so the same. So long as your absence, so long as your absence does not affect your protection upon this place. <laughs> no, certainly not. Basil actually walk straight, like keeping his eyes notably 
anywhere but on her in in the I am aware you are noble and you view me as dust and I will <laughs> and I am doing everything I can not to offend you. Lady Siltrador, um thank you for your uh indulgence and generosity uh for our, for us upon our quest. Um with regards to uh, a statement you made earlier, I am a stranger in this land, and ignorance can be as deadly as any blade. If at some point you have time to spare, I would be honoured if you would favour me with your tale, as it were, your side of the story. Well, I have a bit of time now if you don't mind listening, but it seemed like you had a bit of a pressing mission. It isn't... It, 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 it isn't immediate. You, of course, have your meeting. We have our... Uh, I mean, but if well, at, at some point we could yes. meet again... My, my meeting can wait. Where's Zir right now? Zir's over by the top stairs on the left side. Okay. Presumably getting dressed. I want to move towards her at sonic speeds. No. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> uh, I, 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 no, I was um, going to bring up, the, yeah, yeah the I think it's wise that we let her process, um, no, I mean, that was out of character. I was asking where she was. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, we can't go anywhere until she's ready. Well, mm -hmm. then, I suppose we have a bit of time. Uh, my arrival to the hamlet was a bit strange. I was brought here by the same force as you, a, a call from the woods. Some um, time is so strange here in this place. Six hundred years ago, I think. I was just a, a winemaker then, but I was the sixth in line to a small fortune. Um, my family sold fine wines out of... I can't remember the city now. It was on the southern half of Orem, the continent of Orem. We sold fine wines from there to all, all kingdoms, to the, the Dragon Isles, to Ravania, and... Um, yes, Missouri. Missouri is uh, seemingly going to be disinterested and kind of walk away from the rest of them to a different part of the room. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. However, uh, when I got here, I found myself empowered. I had power over my blood. And I discovered we don't have music. Thank you, Clovis. Let's get that kicked in. As I was saying, I discovered I had power over my blood. It was a strange thing, and after some time, I grew strong enough to leave this place, but when I left, I found my power weakening. So, using the last bit of the power I gained, I killed my traitorous and duplicitous brothers and sisters, took over the Seltradot fortune, and transferred my castle here, which is why those two doors lead to nowhere. I left those towers behind, and did not serve me, and placed myself here as the overseer of the village down below. The Dread Mistress has been so kind. How wise and powerful of you, lady. Are there any other architectural uh, quirks we should know of before we continue on our search? That door, and she points to the door that she told Zir she wouldn't be able to access, is warped and unfortunately does not open. Other than that, no. The architecture of this place is, I suppose, as you imagine a castle to be. Pretty Very sure we could get that door open for you. Thank you for your... She just smiles at you. My lady, this place has been um, rather unkind to us. 
So to hear you speak of your dread mistress so fondly makes me wonder, perhaps, is there a name that we should know of? Powerful patrons in a place like this, I'm sure you know, from your first-hand experience, are useful. No, of course. The name would have been revealed to you in time, if you gained enough power to earn her notice. But for now, I will call you what she called herself when I arrived. Zucket Moy's Bane. Not a name so much as a title, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, you guys can all roll religion checks if you would like. Oh, uh, yeah. Clovis and Missouri, like you may roll yours with advantage. Love to hear that. I don't want to do physical dice here. I've given, I've given up on roll 20's mm -hmm. dice as a whole. Finally. Wow. So um, I'm glad I have advantage. <laughs> Physical Night dice? and day. I rolled a Three two and a nineteen. <laughs> Not wow. Um, and so what are we doing with religion? You, you said religion. Yes. Uh, so that would be a dirty twenty for myself. okay. Uh, dirty twenty for myself as well. All right. You absolutely filthy twenties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know what they did. The dirtiest twenties. Naughty, naughty twenties. Naughty, naughty. Austin, you said um, twenty-one, right? I did. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so. Quedon, Clovis, and Missouri. You have heard the names Gutmoy before. That is the demon goddess of fungus. Oh. Her killer is among us. Get out. I'm so sorry. What is the opposite of inspiration? I'm I'm taking it <laughs> I'm taking one of your D20s away. Damn, I've been out inspirationed. <laughs> Thank you, milady, for your uh, gracious generosity once more. Now, if there's nothing further, I believe I should leave you to your work. You have a young boy to save, I believe, and I have a meeting to get to. Hope it goes well. Gretos does get rather testy if I'm late. Always a stickler to the rules, that one. Rules are made to be broken. I think I like you. Ta-ta. And with that, uh, she vanishes into a white mist. Cool. I would like to make an immediate religion check to just make sure that, like, like is she vanished in a way that, like, she doesn't know what we're doing in here? Or, like, like, what is the level to her not being here? So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say here. that's not religion. That's okay. going to be what? insight. Okay. That is not great. A decent, that's a 12. I mean, she's not here. How could she know what's going on? Okay. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna immediately exhale. Well, her hospitality is kind, but does anybody else feel a little bit less uneasy? I was fine when she was here. She told us the truth. Zira isn't dead, yeah, so. Gave me no reason to be uneasy. Yeah, fair. Uh, I just sort of... Zero, are you making yourself know... Like, you're in the same room as us. Do you have a destination? Are you, are you making yourself known to us? I was headed toward the bedroom area. Okay, um, but so it's you... a large... It's a pretty large area, so I was walking as she talked. Uh, I would have stopped at the stairs when she talked about killing her siblings. Yeah. The stairs I'd probably, are... I'd probably be at the top of the stairs. Okay. The stairs are very nice. Um, they are out of cut white marble. Cool. Um, very artistic. Um, and you, you can tell, having robbed a lot of rich people, very old, very expensive. Hell Yeah. Um, they open up into an upper room that kind of sits on top of this, but is a little bit smaller. 
But you can see, even being at the top of the stairs over the banister, um, you can kind of see where windows open up. And I will actually reveal that part of the map because you would be able to see it. Cool. One more map. So I am in the room. I'm at the very top of the stairs. I'm not necessarily concealing myself, but I'm not necessarily showing myself. So depends on how perceptive you're being or if you're actually looking for me. Because Zira is just naturally very sneaky. I'm not looking for you in particular. I just want to... I, I think it best that we trust in Zir and her... Well, her stating that she does not need protecting and, and leave her be for a minute or two. Perhaps one of us can go check on her in a moment, but... I, I, I think after everything she's been through, perhaps we just... I agree. I, I think she's earned that much from us. Certainly. Yes. So, um, on this other map, Zir, which should be a little bit to the right of the big room, you can see that hole at the very top, that's where the stairs kind of terminate up to the upper level. Um... And you can see into this sort of rhomboid room. Uh, there's a wall here with a door that opens into another room. And a door over here that seems to open to a balcony. Cool. I'm squinting at the fucking map. I have glasses. I wear glasses. <laughs> I'm like over here like, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very rhomboid for sure. Uh, it, and it looks like it goes on further, but that's just what you can see from the stairs. You'd actually have to go up onto the level to see the sure. rest of it. So, sure. That being said, is I, I am where I am on the map because I once I, I kind of scanned her, I started moving over in a way to kind of keep an eye on, you know, maybe the person who just rambunctiously does things <laughs> without thought or reason. Okay. And I will say to uh, our group, um, our uh, inquisitive friend is heading a little deeper into this place. If you were interested in her whereabouts at all. I'll be there in a moment. Uh, and I think Clovis is, now that uh, Lady Seltradot is gone, is going to investigate the statue. Okay. Um... It is a very nicely rendered statue. Um, it does not, not look like it was carved by hand. It looks like this was carved with magic. Mm. Um, judging by you having studied things, uh, the marble uh, is kind of veined through with gold. But as you put your hand up to it, you can feel um, a little bit of like a pulse of energy coming off of it. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't think this would necessarily be common knowledge, so roll a history check for me. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a... You said history? Mm-hmm. 25. Perfect. Um, so you recognize the stone that this is carved out of is... It is marble, but it is marble that is veined through with uh, orum, which is magically infused gold that exists underneath the continent of orum, which is how it gets its name. Uh, orum is used in creating um, artificer weapons and also magical items because it is it is to magic what copper is to electricity. Okay, good to know. So, is does there appear to be? I know that you said there's an energy going through it. Does it there appear to be like lingering some sort of like active magical effect on it? Um, you would need to roll an arcana check to see if you can figure that out. There seems to be magic coming off of it, but Aurum by its nature has an aura. Mm -hmm. so. I am gonna go ahead and do a roll about it. Okay. Um also how... enjoy my homebrew world lore. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. How's a hot nine uh uh, it's pretty hot. Uh, it's probably just the um, just the aura from the aurum. Okay. Um, Mez either either works if you want to do one of those, but you also don't know that it's giving off magic right now. Hmm. 
Can't hear you, Miss. I said I was just checking for uh, future use. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't. It's pro it was probably just uh, she just likes the Orum, um, mm -hmm. and maybe it's a conduit for something else. Yeah. Um, you can see in the sheen in the goblet she carries, which you would have to kind of get up to look into, but like Queden could probably look down into it, and Madame Seltradot, being that she is very tall, could also kind of just look down into it. The surface of the goblet, it is not an empty goblet. It is filled with something, not a liquid, but like a reflective solid that gotcha. looks almost like dark red glass. It's jello. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna, yeah. he'll, he's gonna file that. Okay. Uh, back. I feel like Clovis is himself intelligent enough to clock that there's probably something more to this, hmm. but I don't, I don't think that he, like, based on his check, I don't think he thinks it's valuable enough to, like, call everyone else over and be like, hey, we need to figure out what's up with this right now. So he's just kind of going to be like, there's something, yeah. there's something. Um, the floor around it on that blue area that you can see on the map, that is the mm -hmm. same marble that the stairs are made out of. Okay. And it, and it is also of the has, same age. Does it also have Orum running through it, or is that no. just the statue? Okay. That is just the statue. It seems like the statue was a recent addition. Gotcha. Okay. Has anyone tried to open that door yet? Which door? The one that she said could not be opened. I don't think Why? So. Why? She said yeah. it was she said it was warped. If we were to open it, uh we would be doing harm and thus would incur whatever wrath mm. was being placed forward. Which is why mm. I made the statement of we could open it if you'd like. Had she given me the approval, we could have broken through that door. She did not. <clears throat> How no. closely to the rules do you guys really want to abide here? I think for now at least until we get eyes on on Dimitri, perhaps we should be good little boys and girls. Hmm. That's one way we could play it, I guess. If you see an opportunity to safely break the rules, by all means, go ahead. I just, I think we're a little out of our depth right now, still playing by rules we don't understand, so I think it might be best to follow the ones we do understand. Well put. I suppose... Aye, aye, captains. Um, well, if both of these doors lead to nothing, and that one we can't open, then up the stairs is the only other locale, yes? I suppose so. That would be the direction, yes. Oh. Onward we go. Pazric, right. would you mind taking the lead? Oh, why not? I think you're the best equipped to um, handle whatever might spring itself upon us. Gladly. And I'll go ahead and take the lead. Okay. Um, so you can see, uh... Which, which stairs do you take? Oh, are they not double? I, I, I was thinking it was a double... Like, uh, they the same place. They, they converge onto the same floor, but are you passing zero, or are you purposely taking... For, for me purposes? I would think not, but it's now... It, that's not my... I, I will be, uh, crossing up the same steps... Um, as I uh, get to Zir, I'll just throw her a glance and say, better collect yourself. They want to push forward. And with that, I'll just take one more step forward and, be, and wait on the uh, landing. Okay, I'll go ahead and move you uh, up to where you would be on that floor. She will step up beside you. Wordlessly. She is now dressed, in case anyone was curious. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, I was I was sitting there like, should I ask the state of her boobies? Um <laughs> covered. Put away. No, nothing nothing like the, the the creepy dude in the group stepping up next to you going, How are your boobs? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> nothing like it for sure. Yeah. 
All right, so um, you can see that there are three doors here. Uh, there is one of them here. Okay. Where did I put that door? Uh, here, sorry. Uh, and then there are two more doors here and here, two smaller rooms. Hmm. Uh, do the rest of you go up the same stairs, or are you going up the other stairs? Okay, you went up the other stairs. We, we seem to have arrayed ourselves on the other stairs. Just gonna scooch all over here, then. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Is he here, too? Lead and suddenly I'm... I heard, oh, Jesus, let's make him lead. Jesus, please take the wheel. <laughs> um, and Madame Selchardot, you need to go away. Oh, no. I don't want to take the wheel. There were no cars back then. He's going to be terrible <laughs> at it. All right. Have, uh, so, so we have Jesus you guys, face check uh, the vampires. The three of you, Bosric, Clovis, right. and Quedon, you probably see the two smaller doors uh, before the other team does. Okay. Are these like up against this this wall? Are these the doors or are these windows? Um, there is one door here, one door okay. here, oh, and one oh, gotcha. door okay. here. Nice. Up on those walls, those are windows outside. Got it. Okay. Bosric's taking the lead. I default to him. I'm not saying mm -hmm. much. What does what do we see through the windows? Um. Depending on which one you look out, you will see different locales. Uh, if you look out this one here, uh, you can pretty much see the entire village. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the aquifer. Um, mm -hmm. And you can see even from here, there is something massive moving in the water. Like you can see the disturbances of the water as something moves, which from this distance, you should not be able to see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. What is the uh, what is the air smell like? Weirdly, is it a little stale, little what have you? Um, actually, it smells really nice. Um, in fact, it smells perfumed to the point that it looks like it's trying to hide something. Hmm. Um, and as you get to the top step, you guys hear a voice that you've heard before. Sister. Look, we have visitors. Do you think they've come for the little one? Well, they must have. Well, we'd be very ungracious hosts if we did not greet them, would we not, sister? Now, now, sister. We must wait. We must let them look around a bit first. After all, mother told them that they could look at whatever they wanted to. And we don't want to make them break her rules. Certainly not, sister. But I would like to introduce them to Katya. <gasps> yes, Katya has been so lonely. You don't see anything. You just hear the voices. I will. So Zero's the only one. I'll just say uh, there was a fourth presence detected. And I'll just motion to the, the thought devourer, uh, the intellect devourer on my uh, shoulder. <clears throat> um, in this place that must be the uh, Katya how far Something away are and I will say to the uh, the intellect uh, devour distances how far away are they down two are down far are or close moving. hard to say Something is... Something is blocking me. Can't... It's like looking through a fog. Can we hear them on the other side? You can hear Mez. You cannot hear Mary. In, yeah, I've figured. But... Yeah. So you said two are down and two are which... Where? Two are moving. So I'll... Um... Two are below us. I'll move over. Two are, are below they... us and two are moving. Um, are they moving away from us or towards us? Or the intellect of our can't determine. Uh, they are just moving. They're just moving. So two of them are moving. Two of them are below us. But something's blocking Mary's ability to see. Or detect or um, 
Whatever Mary's doing, uh, she can't get a bead on them. Understood. Also, I do have to point out, she is an intellect devourer, but she is a viciously malformed one. <laughs> yeah. No, Zira's like, Zira glanced over and has not looked back to, in your direction since. <laughs> yeah. So basically, yeah, I would say there's probably where it's a, uh, a, an, in, a, an intellect devourer. It has a big grin on it. So it actually has a mouth. And I'd say the, uh, instead of a skull around it, like you would assume a brain to be, it looks like a parts of a skull are coming out of it. Um, <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> See. Mary's beautiful. Don't 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 do that. Buddy. <laughs> no, and she's just not my type. Mm -hmm. Well, boss. You uh you may lead the way and we'll be here to catch you if you fall. Haha. Uh -huh. Seems we've got three doors and not much else to go. I'll actively look at Missouri. Is it any insight as which of the doors might be most viable? Or are we just grasping at straws? Oh, no, we're not grasping at straws. We have, uh... <clears throat> Hold on. Um, I'm going to go up to the door um, that's directly in front of me. And I'm going to just knock at the top and the middle very quickly to see how much uh, sound I hear. Acoustically, depending on how much space is inside, I would actually get a better impression of how large the room is. Uh, so you're knocking on the three doors? Just the one directly in front of me. Okay. Um, but I'm uh, doing it. Room... I'm doing it for acoustics. I'm trying to hear how much how much it it resounds, so I can see how big of a room it is. Uh, the room is a. It seems like the dimensions that you can see. So, like how wide it is across that wall. It looks like it is a square room of that size. All right. And then I'll go to the uh, the uh, shared uh, doors and do exactly the same. Uh, they are a bit smaller. Uh, they seem to be also rhomboid rooms. So I'll do that and then quickly listen to the, the harmonics. And uh, these rooms are smaller. We should uh, detect. We should check those first. And that way we can move room by room clearing our path so that, that way we know what's behind us. So that's solid. And so um, <clears throat> I will uh, turn the knob on the this point I guess the rightmost door Okay. and open it but then kind of fall back to see if like you know tell them st just kind of make a, post a motion to stay on that side of the door and then I'll push it open and fall back along the door just in case there's a trap or something ready to spring. Okay. Um, there's no trap. Uh, it is a fairly nice, uh, probably nobleman's room. Um, done up in the style of there is uh, gold on the floor. <clears throat> um, and the, oh, the room is isn't familiar. bright, but it's just very pretty. Um, and there are, you know, there's a very ornate bed, uh, done up with soft pillows. Uh, there's a closet, uh, and a door that goes outside. Oh yeah, this is all very familiar. Um, you say gold on the floor. Is there just gold just sitting on the floor waiting to be picked up? No, it is golden marble. Okay, I was about to say that. Like, it, it's similar to the Orum downstairs, but it looks like it's just gold. Um... And it is basically just making the floor look that color. Okay. Um, so I'll just call back out because I don't know if anybody followed me in. And just uh, clear. Clear? Now, just because you can't see me doesn't mean I am clear. Um, and sort of appearing out of mist uh, you see one of the young red-haired girls. Not young red-headed women, but the young red-headed women. Okay. Welcome to my room. I don't think we got the chance to properly meet. My name is Ivanka. I am the eldest of my mother's daughters. 
Oh, how do you do? Just fine. Hmm. How do you do? Oh, well enough so far. If this is your home, uh, would you like to give us show us around? Unfortunately, uh, I believe your mother had to go to a meeting and <clears throat> wouldn't want to be rude and walk into people's rooms now that we know that they're occupied. That is rather rude. Walking into a young lady's chambers without knocking is very unkind. I know you not to try and determine how big the room was, but you didn't request entry. And if you did, you didn't wait for my acceptance. Well, in theory, no one responded to the knocks at all, so it was it would have been pretty clear that no one was in. Well, I was a bit startled. No one has been in my home in some time. But you were I aware think... that we were invited by your mother, so you would have known we were there were people in the home. I think Clovis oh, yes. will pipe up and say, Apologies, my lady. We will try to do better in the future. Well, we can only, and before she can say anything, I'll be like, well, we can only impede on her room once, you know. <laughs> so, well, as you can see, Dimitri is not here. He is not my plaything. He's the plaything of my sister. Hmm. Have you playthings well, of your own? your sister's room? She points to the next room. <laughs> Where does that door go? At the back of my room? Yes. To the balcony. We have a lovely view of the village from there. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, Would you like to see? Familiar. No, I think I'm okay for right now. I've already seen what's happened to the village. I'd rather, uh, I guess, a, a, a bird's eye view of the same thing really wouldn't change my opinion of what happened there. Perhaps not, but you could see everything else. We are very high up. Uh, perhaps later I'll take you up on that. I wouldn't she want just to... wiggles her fingers at you and vanishes into mist again. I love it here. Did this Queen say that? <laughs> yes. Because. So this you're okay with? I gotta go out on a limb and guess it was sarcasm. I would never. Uh. Well, I've already broken into some young lady's room. Might as well make it two for two. Or we could, or we could actively knock and. I I think perhaps we should. <laughs> I have a feeling that was a grace period sort of thing yes but it'd be rude to in to do that to the one and then not do it to the other it seemed like we had a an issue with ivanka i don't want her to think that we singled her out hmm. on the other hand she was the one who corrected us not to enter her room not her sister's see i follow the rules and we were very clearly told her room See, there's two I'm ways we stand can... over here while you <laughs> test this theory. I can play it your way, and we will follow the rules as they change. Um, but I do like playing with the letter of the law. Up to you. <clears throat> Very well. Now you all seem to have a problem with it, so I'll go to the just next. Concern, up. just concerned for your health. Hmm. That would s okay. And I'll knock on the uh, the second door. Uh, as you knock, the door just opens. It was not locked like the first one. And I, will, hmm. I will I will say, is that an invitation or not? You can now see into the room that it is. This one is empty. Well, the last one. The last one was empty too. <laughs> um, I know. <laughs> mm, must be all clear in this room. Well, clear just means that there's nothing immediately in the room that's a danger so i will enter to i will assume that by opening the door so did it open just for me knocking on it mm -hmm. okay uh, but it didn't move the first time i knocked no okay on um, now i'll say that it didn't open the last time i knocked so this is a clear invitation so i will push open the door the rest of the way and look just look in i'm not entering 
Hmm. Zier art. Aha. Zier art. <laughs> it's not. It's still in the whip process, but I think Nyx would be okay if I used. He's she's she's mostly rendered the hair, so I was. Wait, like, what happened? Hmm, Where is I it? Do that. I updated my the, token. The token. Ah, okay, nice, nice. I gotta zoom oh. in. Got a better look. All right. I figured now that you've all seen me naked, you should know what I look like, huh? <laughs> Jeez. So, uh, oh, do you right. enter the room? No, I'm looking in the room right now. Just, uh, I'm just uh, looking. She, uh, she appears kind of just sitting on the side of the bed. Of course. Please come in. Uh, is the room the same make and uh, everything? Yes, except the that the floor is made of emeralds instead of gold. Hmm. Crushed emeralds made into glass and marble. I'll step in if everybody's behind me and uh, just... I assume you also have a wonderful view of the uh, the village. I do. But the villagers aren't much fun. Do you want to play a game? Oh, unfortunately, we are kind of in the middle of something and we've been given express instructions. So to play a game of any kind, we'd probably need your mother's permission. No. Mati is gone. If you want permission, I... And play the game with me, and I will give the boy back to you if you win. What sort of game would that be, Lady Natasha? Tag. If you can tag me, I'll give you back the boy. <clears throat> not supposed to, we're not supposed to touch you. And Your see, mother did very explicitly say that. And we would hate to break the rules in your My own mother home. said not to harm me. You won't. You can't. Try. And she holds up both of her hands. Do we have your permission to succeed? You do. Ivanka, we're going to play tag. If Matur comes back, tell them I said it was fine. Uh, before we play, might we um, at least speak with Dimitri to uh, ensure he's uh, ship shape, as it were? You or is. Trust me. No. Do you trust me? We've just met. Neither of us has a reason to I trust you. I see no reason else. not to trust you. You've done nothing to me. You've killed some of my creations, but they were getting boring anyway. And toys get so boring after a while. I wanted some new ones. I see. Well, surely, if you trust us, and we clearly trust you, as we do want to play this game with you. I am very excited. There's nothing wrong with us checking in on Dimitri. Perhaps he would like to play as well. No. You don't have to play. It's fine. You can continue looking for him, but you will make my sister and I very cross. Well, we can give you our word to play a game once our search is concluded. That way, we follow the rules as we should. This place is rather big. It gives your mother time to get back. And something I've learned in my interactions with the law is if someone makes a rule, someone else can't change the rule that's been made, only the person who enacted it. So we can get her permission. So that way, there's no cross on any side. And then we can have as lively as a game as you'd like. How is it, Shadow Man, that you talk so much and say nothing of substance? Do oh, you really you... think the laws of your land apply here? No, but the laws of your mother do. You're not much fun. Oh, I can be. You just need to find I me in the right mood. It. But fine. Search the house, search top and bottom, try to find the little boy, and when you fail, I'll be here. Or I won't. 
Maybe I'll play with Dimitri instead. Wouldn't that be fun? Wonder how long it would take him to break. He's such a fragile little toy. Oh, kids aren't as fragile as you think, and they get more exciting as they get older. Would you really want to break a toy so early? <laughs> I don't Sorry, see why not. Were... Nothing stays broken here. You said there were four additional figures in this house? There are four, yes. We've met two. They're on this floor, and there were two below. Dimitri and... My sister, Katya. Yes. She's watching over him. Then... Oh... This is a waste of time. Haven't ma yes, that was sort of what I was getting at. My um, to assume that you haven't made us finding him organically very easy. Perhaps we're playing a game of our own. How is how is she lonely? If she's with Dimitri, she's not lonely anymore. She was before Dimitri came. She doesn't like to be outside. But your I sister said that. she was lonely. She's not as pretty as we are. Mm. Are they actually, in fact, pretty? Oh, gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> it's a fucked up thing to say about a sibling. It is. Uh, I mean, it depends on the day. Look, the reality is, is some people some are just ugly. My, my siblings have said about me at times. Well, the truth is, there are some people are just ugly, and there's nothing you can do about that. And hopefully, you make them feel better about themselves. But you know, hey, given the games and everything, maybe you don't want to. Uh, we could always just try the other room and continue on and come back for a game later. Lady Natasha, about this game, because uh, I don't want to speak for my companions. I, at the very least, am interested. How exactly do you play tag? Because I know there are many different ways to play any kind of game. Uh, where I come from, uh, the tag only counts if you use your left hand. Um, but uh, what? other places I've been, <laughs> that's not the case. So I'm curious, do you have any special rules for your game of tag? You can use whatever you want. You can even throw something at me. And if you hit me, you win. Hmm. You can even lose some of your Is pretty there a magic. Lose condition? If I break you first. The... Which of us two parties would be it? I suppose you're it, but I would still be trying to break you. Hmm. And you could stop me, if you can. What are the boundaries of this game? You Only in a room, if you'd like. in the entire home, outside. The house. the house and the balcony. Understood. The most important rule you're not thinking is, what are the stakes? Every game has stakes. Either we get the boy or we are broken, whatever that means. You can give up, and then I will tell Mother to kick you out of the house, and you will never see Dimitri again. You can win, and you'll see Dimitri, or you can refuse to play and continue your fruitless search on your own. But I wouldn't advise trying to take Dimitri from Katya. She does get possessive. Hmm. And she's not as patient as we are. Younger siblings, you know. And she looks very pointedly at Zir when she says that. I'll leave this decision to you guys. What other choice we have? You can continue looking. I mean, perhaps Katya would like to play a game with you too. And if you beat her, then you don't have to worry about me. Yet. We've got all of our cards on the table now, at the very least, so... Yes. How do all of you feel? To Mary, um, are they still moving? 
Nub. Are Wherever. there any other doors in this room than the front entrance? There's the one out to the balcony. Balcony. Okay. The other two have stopped moving. I, uh... Um... As you said, so the solar cards are on the table. I, I don't think. Well. Reading, can things. you move a little closer to your mic? You're a little quiet. Searching hasn't uh, hasn't done us too well. Well, we looked in two bedrooms. It's hardly a search. I think. I don't think that's what he's referring to. Hmm. Fair. I just... Well... I don't... I don't think you would be offering us a game if there was anything for us to gain by not accepting it. Personally, I'm not opposed to continuing our separate search. I just wanted to make sure we fully understood, you know, our options. Um, that being said... I think there is promise in the game of tag. Um, I'm sure something's going to go wrong, but... How about this? We'll play hide and seek. You continue your search. And I'll haunt you. You do whatever you want. But know that I'm always watching. And I'll pop out when you least expect it. Because now you know, and she vanishes into mist and appears behind you and kind of leans into your ear, Clovis, that I can be whatever I want. Pass. I prefer tag. What do I roll for scared? <laughs> I'll let you roll a wisdom save for that. that, 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 that that's roll a, for uh, piss your pants. Well, oh, I'm good at wisdom saves. Uh, that's a 19. Oh, yeah, you're not scared. Okay, uh, then I think, like, I think there is fear in Clovis, but I think there's more steel in this moment. Um, and I I think he just goes, not sure I like the odds. More of a tag man myself. So, um, while they're doing this, I'm going to cast Mage Hand outside of the room. Okay. And have it open the other door. This door? Yeah, the, the third door that we haven't opened yet. Oh, the third door. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the door is open. Door number three. Real quick. So she's right behind Clovis? Mm hmm. Where's Clovis? Oh, uh, two map. squares from you. We'll get the map. Okay. Um. I mean, can I just move over and slide a fan? Try to grab her right now. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Excellent. I wish I wish you were right next to me, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm being I'm doing it in a stealthy way, not a fast way. Okay, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Would you like sleight of hand? Go for it. Yeehaw! Seventeen. All right. Uh, she does not seem to notice you, and as you very reach out and subtly reach for her hand. You grab it, but it's about an inch in front of your hand. You know it was in your hand, but it isn't. And she looks at you and smiles. Very close. My turn. Um, and... In this moment... Zira's going to pay very close attention to whether she can hear footsteps. Okay. Or if it seems like a teleportation. She's trying to see, does she blink out, zoom, blink in, or is it a blink out, different plane blink in kind of situation? Okay. Um, She's doing neither of those. Awesome. In her Wicked. hand, <laughs> you did not notice before, is a large fishing hook. Which she swings at Zir. Okay. Uh, she will miss. 
Okay. Does anyone else want to play? Or is it just me and her? I suppose I'll join. Uh, I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Uh, so I need uh, her to make a wisdom saving throw. So we're just fighting and we're calling it tag. Is that what's happening? Because this is stupid. Uh, natural 20. Uh, okay. Uh, she still takes half damage. Tag, um, you're it. The Spirit Guardians uh, don't attack. Really? Because no one's there. Cool. And she is going what? to um, swing out with her barbed hook at you. And she will miss. And now I think would be a good time for us all to roll initiative. Sounds like it. This is mm -hmm. stupid. <laughs> zero, zero <laughs> says again. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. But here we are. If and anybody get... doesn't want to play, they don't have to. But we still have to roll initiative. <laughs> no, you don't. If you're not playing, you don't. You're not in the initiative order. I forgot to click at the token, but That's it's a okay. twenty. I rolled <clears throat> manual. It's a fifteen. While they're rolling, I'm just going to ask the thought devourer: Do you sense anyone in these two rooms? I sense one in the gold room and the one that just came out of the emerald room. <sighs> She's right there. I'm just going to... I'm just going to say, can I sit on the bed here? Help yourself. I'm just going to sit on the bed and uh, bring up my tome and just start reading. Okay. Oh, um, also a reminder for Spirit Guardians. Uh, I kind of forgot this during last fight. Any creature within the affected area that I don't designate, and I do designate all my friends, uh, on top of taking the... Uh, the damage every turn also has their movement speed halved within 15 feet. Okay. I don't know that that's applicable in this situation, but just in case. Uh, she hasn't moved. Okay. Zier. Okay. My turn? Mm-hmm. Whoa. I got a 15. A 15? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay. Um. Oh boy. I don't know what to do. I would like to. I'm gonna disengage. Okay. Move over. Mez is sitting on a bed now. Yes. Yeah, in, I in, think he's sitting in on gold the or emerald. Bed. I'm in. I'm in emerald because uh, oh, I never left that right. Pokemon emerald. Pokemon. So okay, great. <laughs> um, I will disengage and head into this room. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. This is the balcony door? Yes. Excellent. Hold on. Can I? I might have been able to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah. Hee hee hee. Is it locked? Unlocked? Oh, uh, sorry. That's but not a balcony door. It. That is oh. a closet. This is the balcony Closet. <laughs> Um, I'll open up the closet. Okay. <laughs> With my action, I would like to rifle through her things. <laughs> it's empty. Cool. Terrifying. <laughs> Zero just kind of mutters to herself, mm -hmm. like, well, I guess it's okay to touch things now. Jesus. <laughs> um, that's, that's Zero's turn. Okay. Um, the, uh, Natasha is going to kind of look over Clovis's shoulder at Zier and say, wait, come back. We were having such a lovely conversation. And she is going to walk through Clovis. 
Oh. <laughs> Five, 10, 15, 20, Yippee. 25, 30. Uh, Clovis, I need you okay. to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Fantastic at those. Um, that's a uh, nine. Okay. Um, as she walks through you, you feel your vitality drain. Oh. You take four necrotic damage, and your hit point maximum is reduced by four. Dick. Mm. As that. she draws out some of your blood. Oh. And it feels like as she's walking through and you feel that vitality drain, it feels like tiny cuts. And um, Quedan and Bosrit, because you can see uh, Clovis, you do see very, very thin, like, paper cuts appear on both of his arms. But that is going to be um, her action, so she is just going to use her movement to get up next to Zir. And keep smiling at you. Cool. And now that she's smiling, you can see that her mouth is full of razor-sharp teeth. Cool. Does she look like Lady Seltradot? No. Okay. Clovis. Uh, so what happened before we rolled initiative? Does that count as part of this round of combat? No. Okay. In that case, I'm going to follow her um, and make her take spirit uh, guardian save again. Uh, okay. As she's entering it for the first time on the turn. Um, so um, how do your spirit guardians manifest as the, the pelums, right? The yes. spear and shield. Yeah. Um, they move forward and they stab. And they miss her by an inch. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, uh, DM, am mm -hmm. I able to ask, like, uh, excuse me, do you mind if I uh, light some incense? It's stuffy in here. I'd like something to open up my pathways. By all means. I will put a, uh, a little bauble into my sensor and use press the digitation to light it. There is a smoke coming out of it, but it's not like my billowing smoke, but it's going to spread a little bit. Um, if you care what it smells like, it's a uh, fresh cut birch, uh, nice. like a, a bite of black pepper. Um, but like I'm sitting there and I'm just like, uh, I'm going to say that my, my pet kind of knowing what I'm doing, while it's smiling, it's breathing out onto the sensor, kind of moving the smoke a little bit away from me. <laughs> um, and basically, to let you know what I'm doing is I'm trying to put down a light uh, smoke. So if as they move around through it, I'm trying to detect if I can see her movement through this really light um, smoke. Okay. Well, I I love that, but I'm gonna say Clovis, you know you know your spells well enough to know nobody is immune to this damage. There's mm -hmm. always something that happens. Mm -hmm. Nothing is happening to her. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask her a question and try and insight check her answer. Okay. Are you here? Don't the cuts on your arm tell you that I'm here? No, I touched don't. you. You're not it. I'm right here. Just because you don't have the ability to touch me, that's not my fault. Does it seem like she's telling the truth? Roll an insight check. Uh, fuck yeah. That's a, um, uh, 24. She seems genuine. Okay. Hmm. How can I prove it to you? Do you want me to touch something? No. Okay. Your little... Your little army is very impressive. Well, thank you. I made them myself. No. Stendar made them. You're just channeling them. It was a joke. 
You're just a secondary tool for a greater purpose. Aren't we all? I'm quite independent, thank you. Mm -hmm. Though I suppose I was secondary in that proof that my mother can make something perfect. Quedan, you're up. Cool. Um, I am going to cast Command uh, and tell her to come here. <laughs> I, I I say come uh, and uh? hold out my hand in the attempt to just call her directly to shut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say come and she immediately <laughs> in an attempt to call her. No, I, to I know. My outstretched hand. I, I know you know. No, I'm no, let's let this out. happen the way he's thinking. Maybe she'll be more willing no, to help us. She's not going to immediately orgasm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, she will walk. I mean, that's not a simple command. That takes work. 15, 20, 25. A spell's 30. a magical thing. That is as far as she can walk with the command action. So she doesn't quite okay. make it into your outstretched hand. Uh, her full... So command is on her turn. She oh, okay. She would, move, she would move the extent of her movement towards me. Okay, what is the save? Uh, that would be uh, b -b 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 Wisdom uh, DC 17. Okay. Uh, she will pass the save. Okay. <laughs> then I, I, it's not going to work, but I'll move I'll, I will move i will try to well i don't even know if i can get there is it safe to say that i would have been by the doorway one two three four five all right i'll just I, it's not gonna work i'll use my movement to get to her and try to touch her okay uh mez she hasn't moved yet she's still standing there uh, if she moves again, I'll let you know. Uh, Zir. That's a... uh, or do you have happens? a bonus? Well, what happens? <laughs> what did you do? Did you walk up to her and try to touch her? Yeah. <laughs> you miss. Your hand is uh, okay. just not where she is. Cool. Zir. Super cool, isn't it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> like to go to the balcony okay and open the door all righty i guess Let me I zoom can... out so i can reveal all of this that's a much bigger balcony than i thought <laughs> that's, a, that's a sizable balcony So yeah, you can make your way out on the balcony. Mm -hmm. She's not going to attack you. She doesn't... She's not smiling anymore. Like, she's grinning, but she's not... She doesn't seem as happy. Interesting. Um, so that was... 5, 10... 15, 20, 25, 30... 35... Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't do math. Okay. Seven squares. Yes. Correct. Correct, Amundo. Uh, I'm near a window. I'd like to look into this room. Obviously, um, it's been revealed. Yes. But, it is uh, an affluent room. Um, You see, like, a vanity, and you see several closets... Uh, a large bed. Like that rug. Um, it is a very nice room. Yeah. And this one looks much more furnished than the two rooms that you assume to be the daughter's rooms. Mm -hmm. But in here, you do see several dresses hanging up in an open, uh, an open closet. Neat. Is that what this big gold thing is? I'm assuming. Uh, that is the door to the balcony. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Exquisite. 
Very yeah, good. she's a she's a fancy bitch. Yeah, we love a fancy <laughs> bitch. Okay, yeah, I'll just be looking in through the window. Um, I'm gonna test something. I'm gonna toss down my ball bearings. Okay. Just around me in the general area. All right. Does it look like she can... I mean, obviously, I know that there's some weird, wacky, fun stuff going on, but she doesn't have line of sight to me, and I don't have line of sight to her No. in this moment, right? Okay. Mm -mm. Cool. So she'll hear a noise. Actually, no, she won't hear a noise. I'll be very stealthy about it. I can roll for it if you want, and I'll just put some ball bearings on the ground around me. Okay. And look through the window. All right. Um, Bosric, what have you been doing all this time? Kind of observing the lunacy, making a half-hearted attempt to look for some sort of weakness in her, maybe or, or insight as to uh, the nature of her ability. Okay. So, and it, will that be an insight check? Yeah, that'll be an insight check. Nine. Okay. I got nothing. Um, she, seeing Zier leave, she looks back at, uh, Quedon and Clovis, and she looks not angry, not even sad. She kind of looks disappointed. She said, I thought you would be smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> oh, well, I'm bored now. Good luck with Katia. And she vanishes into a red mist. Uh, Missouri, you see your smoke shift as she turns into mist. But she is gone. Out of initiative? Out of initiative. Well... I can't say I'm surprised. What did we miss? Couldn't touch her. Um, uh, Bosric and Mez, because you were not actively in the fight, both of you roll perception checks for me. Uh, 18. Nice. So, 23. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I just received psychic damage from something that Zier said. <laughs> I could I couldn't help myself. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> both of you saw every attack land. Zier grabbed her hand. Clovis's spirit guardians made contact. But nothing happened. It was as if she was made of smoke. But she she disturbed your smoke when she moved. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Um so with that, I'll uh, turn off my sensor and blow away the smoke and just, sorry, I was trying to track her uh, movements with the smoke. Um, but you guys did uh, touch her. It's just she wasn't, didn't seem to be there. So did you guys see your hands grabbing her and your things attacking her? Or what did you see? Nothing seemed to make actual contact. Everything made contact. Oh, well, uh, to me, at least, my warriors made their strikes, and they just didn't connect. It, it was bad faith. I figured as much. Which is why I... was I... hoping they were bound by some sort of rules that no. they would have to honor the things that they made. That's what I was trying to get at beforehand, but I guess that's not the case. <clears throat> the rules... Well, we learned something. The rules that are made can only be unmade by the person that did it. Nobody here has that's talking to us, these sisters, the third sister um, somewhere further down in some basement dwelling. None of them have any reason to stand by anything they tell us. 
I think you can see that concept sort of wash over Clovis and make him unreasonably mad. Um, the idea that somebody set their own rules and then didn't follow them. Um, yeah. He just gets kind like of. Sold. I, I feel like I should have known that, but I guess I couldn't see the forest for the trees. You want to trust. You wanted to trust in their word. I just have the byproduct of not trusting anyone's word, unless no. they give me a reason to. These two have given me no reason to trust them. It's not um, so much trust. Rules are rules. Yeah. At this point, Ivanka appears at the foot of the bed. What rules exactly do you think my sister set? Well, by stating if you can touch me, but not having the full potential to actually do so removes the game entirely. You can touch her. You just don't know how. You're not smart enough. Hmm. Honestly, I'm more so upset that she left. When she got bored. She's a child. I apologize. Sure not nice to set up a game and then walk away when everybody else is just starting to figure out the rules you don't know as many nobles as i do this is uh this is not out of the ordinary mm. well let I me ask you voice. something what what what's your name elf man clovis clovis right did you have any toys growing up wood figurines or were you more of a book person just gonna kind of put away the book he was canonically holding. Yeah, I had um, toys like doll, um, um, yeah, like dolls and and stuff. All right. When you got bored with your dolls, did you keep playing with them, or did you put them back in the toy chest? Didn't really have a chest, but I get I get what you mean. Yes, you. You, you are set assuming. Them that my sister and I view you as equals. We do not. You are mortals. You are outworlders. We are barely human to us. Didn't your mother say nobody here is technically quote-unquote mortal, apparently? Things don't die? Well, all right. You're right. You're right, Mr. Technicality. But we're even less mortal than you. For now. When we leave this world, we cannot die. When you leave this world, you will age and die. And that little seed that's sitting in your chest will pop out of you. I wonder what that's going to look like. My lady, if we're so much dolls to you, why are you bothering to explain this to us now? Because you're unfairly making judgments of my sister, and I can't abide that. I apologize. I, I don't mean to make judgments. As, as you well know, this is far beyond our understanding. And that is why I'm giving you the benefit of the explanation. I didn't think you meant offense. Hmm. I'm almost positive that he did, and she, without even looking at him, points to Missouri. But... And I will go, my lady, wholeheartedly, you guessed correct. She she smiles at you. You see, I like you. I understand you. You are a broken creature. All of them are, but you at least accept what you are. It comes from knowing what you are. Once you accept it, things become a lot easier. You must forgive my sister. You have something we do not. Even if you don't know about it. Even if you have... And she kind of... Her gaze lingers on Zir. Well, never mind. Zir's outside. Uh, on the door that Zir left a little bit longer. Even if you don't remember. You had parents once. Real parents. Mother is kind to us, but... Well. You like books so much. Do a little research on your own. Do I have access to your library? 
the library was left on the mountain when the castle was transported, but there may be clues in the basement. If you can get down there. I'll keep it in mind. I don't suppose you'll tell us what the trick to the game was. You now just that have it's to touch her the right way. Isn't that the truth for any woman? And he gave, she gives you a little wink. And, and Bowser goes, like, <laughs> Yes, it is. Completely, sincerely, Clovis goes, I don't know what you... I wouldn't... <laughs> is that some sort of... <clears throat> are they all kind of... Clovis. You are the most wonderful creature we have ever had under our roof. And Thank I you. hope you stay forever. I don't... Yeah, I do it. She's talking about a G-spot. A who? In terms of all my social Bosric interactions, straight realistically, up is... this has not gone too far. Bosric straight up goes downstairs. He's done. I'll, I, I'll just, I'll get up and say, no, thank you. I'm, I'm done. I'll get up and I'll say, thank you, lady. And um, as I walk past uh, uh, Clovis, and I'll say, I'll tell you when you're a little older. And I'll walk out the door. Tell me what? Anyway, um, thank you, my lady. I think uh, my friends and I need to gather ourselves and decide what to do next. Pay a visit to Katya, allegedly. I, I will warn you. My sister is still playing a game with you. She is hunting you now. Be on your guard. Uh, I will look around at the definitely still here spirit guardians. That's what they're for. But thank you. Where did the other one go? The, the sneaky little one with the horns. Is she on the balcony? Out the door. All right. Could, could be anywhere by now, though. Yes, well. I hope she doesn't have another trip. I deeply do as well. Um, <clears throat> so I have uh, an interesting uh, question. Um, so everybody that's in the room right now, mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to start uh, walking around you weirdly. Um, it should be a little uh, funny for you. Um, and uh, I am going to... Uh, use my uh prestidigitation to um remove the smell of my sensor from you and just and i'll go and i'll hold the sensor up to each of your noses one last time and i'll go look for that you guys thought it was just the smoke i was marking her Is it like a, a strong enough scent that we? Oh like... God, yes. <laughs> okay. It is. It is literally a very strong. Like it is, like fresh cut birchwood. Like a mm. a strong fireplace smell with like a really strong bite of cra a black pepper. Gotcha. Okay. Like you will like, smell I don't, I don't this very this easily. Is too human man for this. <laughs> um, okay. And then and so um, uh, at that I'll just look at her and go. We're not all as stupid as uh, your sister would like to think. Clearly you are if you think scent sticks to smoke. Smoke sticks to smoke. I would know better than most people about that. Yes, I imagine you would. I can see why mother is so interested in you. Maybe she's got to think survive. for... <laughs> Maybe she's got to think for smoke. She has a thing for intelligence. Oh, well, that would be my friends over here. And I'll point to Queden and Clovis. Uh, very much, very well learned. Uh, I suppose I'm insulted? I I'm don't... not sure where the kind of intelligence they're looking for, Mizora. No. So, Zier, what are you doing? Just standing there in your balls? 
Yeah. <laughs> Playing in the ball pit. Yeah. <laughs> balls. Why you got them balls? I got a ticket to the ball pit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, Bosric, you have gone downstairs. Uh. Um, after, after like five to maybe ten minutes, Zero would realize no one is coming and start to pick up all the ball bearings by hand. <laughs> okay. <sighs> uh, that's so sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try for an investigation check to look for anything that looks like a secret door to a sub basement. Okay. Roll investigation. That is a six. That is not no a No secrets. That is two doors to nowhere and one door that is sealed shut. I think Clovis is gonna at that point say, Well, thank you very much for the information. Lady Ivanka, I, I appreciate it, and hopefully we'll have a uh, better game with your sister this time around. I'm going to go join my friend downstairs. Uh, and Clovis is going to go ahead towards Boz. All right. I, yeah, I follow. There's all, I mean, there's only one, I think we know where they are, don't we? They must be behind the door we cannot open. Or, it's already door. open. And if you guys do look, that third door is open. The bedroom or the, the warped door downstairs? No, the third door that's off to the side that we haven't approached at all. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. One of us should probably go in there and like, check it out. Well, Zira looked in there and there was nothing in there except uh, stuff. Yeah, I'm going mm. off of, but none of us know that. Biggers it is were, ornate. Oh, the figures were ornate. below. And there's only one other door. So the only door left is the warped one? Is that what you're saying? I would hate to break another one of Mother's rules. Well, but. friends, um, uh, Clovis will kind of point towards the statue. There's something interesting going on with this. I'm not sure I'm the right person to figure it out, but, um... Perhaps a little bit of help? Sure. I don't know if any of you are familiar with, uh... Orum, Clovis gives a very lengthy and unnecessary explanation of of the resource, what area it comes from. Hmm. Um, All of you would know what Orum is. You just wouldn't necessarily be able to identify it. Yeah, it's a very boring speech about a very cool thing, but Clovis finds a way to make it very, like, history teachery. Um, so there's some sort of lingering energy in it. I might be off base. It might just be part of, you know, the the metal itself, but I feel like there's something to this, especially since that door won't open by itself. Um, and while they're saying that, I'm going to turn to Mary and say, given what I just did, I will require your assistance in a different capacity. And I will expend one of my charges and turn her into a car uh, carrion crawler. Okay. Um, who has keen smell and advantage on uh, perception checks that rely on smell. Okay. Um, as soon as she turns into a carrion crawler, she covers her face everywhere. Smell everywhere. And then I'll hold my sensor up to her. Identify that at all times around us. I can't. The smell is so strong. And she's, like, covering her face. I'll put her under my uh, cloak. Okay. Um, so are you downstairs, then, with everyone else? Yeah. Okay. Just leaving poor Zero on the balcony. I, Dude, I've got ball 340 of a thousand in the hand at the moment, so, you know. <laughs> Stop playing with your balls. Is that how many? It's a thousand, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so we're we're a third of the way through. Okay. Um, while I'm walking around, uh, given what Mary just told me, I'm gonna be uh, constantly just 
breathing in to see if I can tell where the scent is stronger or weaker. Um, you don't catch that smell, but you do catch, again, that strong sense of incense that is being used to cover another smell. Uh, it is primarily coming from behind the warped door, but you get the vibe that Mary is overwhelmed by that smell and cannot smell anything else, especially because of her increased olfactory senses. I think Clovis is going to go check out the door because I don't think he's done that yet. And I don't I don't know that he can find anything else out about the statue. Okay. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Ooh, that's a 23. You've worked with a lot of wood in your time. Wow, that was very funny for somebody who's mostly cloistered. Um, but you've worked with wooden doors a lot. This mm -hmm. wood isn't warped. This door is just locked. Okay. She just didn't want you to go down there. But is it warped? No, it's just locked. Okay. There's. Is there any sort of like? Do I feel any sort of magical? Uh, nope. thing on it? just a regular locked door. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, friends, it's just a door. We do have to break a rule to get through it, which is the, I guess, the real challenge of the door. No, um, she said, "Don't." What was the rule? We couldn't break anything. What was the I think letter? She mentioned this door specifically. No, she said this door is warped. She never said it couldn't open or that we should not go in it, did she? She did give us run of the house. This is part of the house. And the thing is, we are not to break or harm anything. If we open the the door, then we're not hurting. As long as we don't break the lock, then we have fulfilled the obligations of the rules. Mm -hmm. So we need to find the key. She, she said nothing about changing the state of something, just that it could not be broken or hurt. Remind me... Uh... DM, did she say don't touch anything? Uh, she just said, she, I mean, she said don't touch my stuff, but she didn't say don't touch anything. Okay. <clears throat> so I will call out, excuse me, Zir. If, if, yeah. I, Zir, I don't think you can hear him from where you are. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, let me see. Let me go back to the, uh, the map. Um, oh, you're still upstairs? I, okay, we're on ball bearing number 483. Okay, we're making progress. If anything, you should be very impressed by how deftly I'm picking up a thousand um, balls. I will just say, I'll be back in a moment. And I will go to find Zier. I'll go back up the steps. And as I see her literally picking up a thousand ball bearings like they're pogs. Um, yeah. You guys probably don't remember. Oh, some of you do. Um, oh, yeah. I remember pogs. And um, I love pogs. So I'll say. If I recall, you're rather adept at lockpicking, aren't you? I like to think so. We have need for you of your skills. Oh, you do? Yes. This might be nothing, but I'd actually like to investigate, now that Clovis has pointed out the orum on the statue, I'd like to investigate the statue, just kind of, if there's like, I don't know, hidden compartments or something. Okay. I will, also, investigation. I will also be picking up. <laughs> no, I won't. That is a natural wonders. Nice. I will be. Can I, uh, I might switch to the macro because that's not doing it the, for me. Uh, can I give you the help action? I got a nat one. It's I don't. Yeah, no. I, mean, I don't think I you can 20, help. Yeah. Unless I roll a twenty, which I didn't. Um, All right, Missouri. Where I'm, was I'm, I'm, well, since she's picking them up, I'm just gonna again create my mage hand and have it start helping to pick them up, and I'm gonna start picking them up as well because, you know, let's let's let, we gotta move this along. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're being I'm pretty, hunted. I'm pretty sure Natasha probably like hit me on the back of the head secretly <laughs> for that fail. It's like she's just generally right, today. impressed. I hate it. So the the ball bearing in goes be, faster. Yeah, I'm just gonna be mindlessly mumbling to myself. Yes, I, I suppose it's best I not touch the door. I've never been the most nimble of. Yes, yes. yes I'm like just having like five different overlapping conversations with only myself. So I'm, so I'm being requested to lock pick a door. Yeah, the, it would probably be best. I could try, but I'm not the most adept at it. 
And who is hoping that I do this? Me. I know that you have the skill. They don't. I'm requesting if you'd be willing to try. Hmm. Okay. I'm willing to do it because it's you. But I need you to understand that if any of the others ask me to do just about anything while we're here, I'm not going to. Sadly, I understand. Did they do something to, to irk you? You seemed pretty chummy with them, up to a point. Well, chummy is a matter of circumstance. <laughs> yeah. Um, chummy Honestly, in bonding sense over of... ball bearings is an entire mood. Bonding over ball bearings. As someone who bonded with someone in a game shop when I dropped every one of my dice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a reason why meat cutes are are picking up papers in the hallway, man. It works. Okay. Um, I I guess I'm chummy by nature because I don't really know how else to be. It's not that I particularly like or want to be friends with any of them. But. Uh, you'd understand how if it was one of them asking me to lock pick a door that that would be hypocritical after being yelled at for opening a door don't you think yes a little bit um but they don't have the same experiences or line of experiences that we do plus if one of them asked you to do this i'd be a little curious as to how the hell they knew and how do you know I have made a fair share of coin um, keeping tabs on you and your siblings. In what sense? I've seen you around. You're making money off of that? Mm, to a degree. Uh, there's somebody that wanted you taken care of. Not in a bad way, but to ensure that should something go sideways or awry, you did not befall any consequences. Okay. So we're back to this, right? Well, we're back to me not being competent? No. Are you making money off of my lack of competence? No, I'm making money off of situational awareness and things that could potentially happen. You and your siblings don't kill, do you? Have you ever heard a rumor about how you killed a guard escaping from a caravan or someone was brutally hurt and you ran away? You never touched a person? <gasps> Hi, I'm that rumor. I'm the one who does that. When you run away and can't get away, and this is a, a thing it's going to be, and I will show you one of the marks from... One of Bosrex, uh, you would notice it. You would have noticed it on his uniform. More than once, I've covered your escape. That is what I was tasked to do. And I did so. One time, you even looked a little weirdly because I made an illusion in the distance. And I saw you stare right at it as you ran. But they looked at it too, and they went in that direction. I'm what you call a fixer. When you go out on a mission or one of your other individuals within your organization go out, the matron would have me, depending on who was doing what, step out and fulfill obligations to ensure people's safety or to ensure that a mission was completed. And that is what I did. Nothing too nefarious, nothing special bad, but to make sure that her individuals got back home safely. Hopefully without the law on their tail. Or without fulfilling uh, the legal ramifications for illegal actions. And that is what I did. I believe your siblings saw me once or twice. 
even the, even uh, the night that we all met, I received, and I will give you the note from uh, the Grey Matron saying that, uh, what was the exact wording on that? Uh, oh God, I don't remember. It was, it was under the degree of <laughs> um, um, nothing happening tonight. Uh, stay around, uh, just yeah. stick around and keep watch. Um, no need tonight, keep watch was basically what it was. Um, but as you say, they would have seen me before. Um, Gwynthalia will pop out and say, I recognize him. A bit jealous of his work. Uh, Missouri, you don't... You don't see the ghost. Do I hear them or no? No. Plus, you're all a little young, and I'd rather keep you... And part of my... Part of the reason I've enjoyed following your group is because I've seen so many of your kind, meaning those within the organization, eventually go from theft to attack to ended up doing nefarious murders so i took great pl pride in cleaning up behind you so that that way you guys never had to do some of those things you ran and before you would be in a situation um i would handle it already my soul got blacker and darker and yours stayed fresh theft and what you do is well, it's, it's a career, but the more things you get involved in, the darker you become, the less you trust, the less joy you feel. Um, there's something to be said about seeing that joy, which is sometimes why I went to the bar and I would sit in the back and enjoy my ale. Because from there, I could see you and your siblings laughing and joking and having a good time. That I saw as a byproduct of me making sure that, as per my job, you did not do what I do. You would never have to experience and see those lights go out. That's why I don't fear a lot of things. You know, when your nightmares are scarier than real life, <laughs> what do you have to be fearful of? Zir, you hear the voice of uh, Mainland. Do you think we should let him know we're here? I mean, he knows Leaf is here, Zir, but he doesn't know about us yet. We can keep it a secret if you want, but I mean, I think he's here to help. And Leif was always... I don't know. A little bit more forward. A little bit clumsier. We can stay secret if you want, but... I think secrets are going to get us killed. That was all I had. Then we'll keep a... If that's okay. You're the boss. No, no, not not you. I mean, what I'm talking about is you. I'm sorry, I'm not following. I assume you're speaking out loud. <laughs> I am. I am. That was all I had. And, and... Now I'm in this... Are you telling me I wasn't good enough? No. Because I'm not... that was what I knew. That's all I had. And so... and I had this... cleanup crew behind me. Um... I thought I was the best. Let me... And now Let I'm me... here where I'm, I'm somewhere uh... where I need to be the best. And you're telling me I'm not? No, I never said that. I said, so, do you think I'm as good as I was when I was your age? I don't, I don't even know you. Okay, well, I'm, and you I'm know not, me. I'm not, I'm not young. Ish. When I was your age, I was not as good as I am now. But at that time, I'm the best I could be at that time. Now, are you the best? You're the best at what you can accomplish right now. Your siblings were the best they could be at that time. And your your the way you interacted with each other worked. You enhanced. You didn't know you had limitations because you always had someone to compensate for your limitations. 
I was just a fifth person you didn't know was there. Because when you all had that one limitation, I stepped in because it wasn't mine. Now, could I have jumped into your group and said, hello guys? No, because that's not, that's my limitation. I don't work well with groups. I fix things. I work on the fringes. I work on the outside. You had a strength and still have a strength I don't have. You're good for where you are now, but it's okay to need help. Gwen chimes in at this point and puts a head on your shoulder. Zir, Mom was smart. She was just protecting her best asset. You were the best. He doesn't know us. He's not part of the district. We were the best they had. But we couldn't be the best without taking lives. You knew that as well as we did. But we followed you because you said no. Maybe Mom just wanted to keep our hands clean. I... I need you to know that I'm the best. And I'm not going to accept anything else. Do, do you want to hear the worst thing I could tell you right now? You've already said a lot of really bad things. Yes, and the fact that Which I'm, I'm saying, sure not to your perspective were bad, but to me are pretty bad. I because... did not see them as bad. This one I do. Okay. Show me. Don't Don't tell me you're the best. Show me. You've told me since I've interacted with you on numerous occasions, I'm the best, I'm the best. And you've said it to all of us. Well, now's not a time when you can sadly rely on the structure you've had. And that's unfortunate and sad. And I'm not very good at emotional things. So this is really kind of outside of my wheelhouse. But now's the time when you have to prove, don't tell us you're the best, prove it in every action. You say you're a leader, Right now, you don't have to be a leader. You have to be, you have to prove that you're the best. And then when you're the best, then you can say, well, now I can lead because now we trust you to be the best. But up until this point, you ran, you ran into a battle that was, you were ill prepared for. That was bad. You, well, you fell out of a door, but chances are that, you know, that was a mistake. There's these situations that are coming up and your fieriness, your excitement is getting you into situations. You can be the best, but the best has to be aware and they have to make good decisions. And you don't have the safety net you've had before. Unfortunately, the safety net you have now is myself when able and everyone down those steps. You don't know how we work. I've, I've never entered something I couldn't handle before. Yes, I, didn't run in, I didn't run in because it was stupid. Or I guess maybe I have, and I just didn't know because I had a cleanup crew following me this whole time. I just, I don't know how you can... Ex Less of a crew in one I... person, but that's exactly it. Up until now, you did not know that you had someone behind you. You didn't know that. Now you do. You've run into situations because you, you knew you could handle them. Now you know you can't. Your best is not winning every situation defeating every battle. Your best is utilizing your skills in the right way at the right time for the best result. And I'll tell you right now, when I was around your age, I did the same things as you. I ran in, I've got this. Over time, I learned to look at situations, sit on the outside, evaluate, put it together and then know where I'm best applied. I can swing a sword all day long and cut anything in my path with a, with a blade. A nice slice here and there. Or I can apply things properly, move that blade forward and put that tip piercing something exactly as it needs to, removing the obstacle rather than hurting or swaying it to try to divert. Applied pressure. And that's what you have to be. 
You have to look inside yourself and say, I have this, I don't have this. We have Bosrek. He's got his, he's, he's a big guy. Use him. You have Clovis, has a lot of information. Use it. You have Quedon. He does a lot of things. And it's really hard to kind of determine where it's going to go. And if you'll let me, I'll do what I've always done. I'll move around you and clean up what you need help with. Because and that's what this, I know to do. At this point, you hear Leif's voice. And then now you have us too. We've got your back. Death. We'll follow you as far as we can. What does that mean? I, I'm confused. I don't... I thought I explained I'm, what it I'm meant. I'm not... No, not, not you. I... What do you mean? Um, you hear Gwen's voice again. Oh, let's just make this easier. Gwen snaps her fingers, and Mez behind Zier, you see a tiefling, a very translucent tiefling, with his arms crossed. She's talking to us, dumbass. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, good to know that now. Well, you should probably keep that a secret. I just... I don't know, I just I feel like I've had the rug pulled out and and now I'm being told to just carry on and, and use my actions to prove myself and I, I thought I already had what I'm telling you to do is as you said the rug's been pulled out from under you what I'm telling you to do is get up and mind your footing Does that make it easier to... I, I'm not good at emotion. Um, I'm not built for it. Um, but I could see the difficulty in accepting the situation, but I wouldn't be saying it to you if I didn't learn the lesson once myself. You're not the best if you're always the best. You must be challenged. You must lose. You must grow. That is how you stay the best. I don't... I, I don't... I don't lose. I don't I don't have a person that follows behind and fixes things. I don't I don't lose. I, I I'm all I've known is that I'm the best. Everyone loses. How you handle that makes you the best. You grow from loss. You will learn more from a loss, from a difficulty, from those situations you can't recover from you will learn more from that than every time being stellar and being the amazing winner we can all stick our heads in the sand and say we are the best we are amazing the reality is until we accept our losses wherever they may happen and learn and grow from them the less we choose to learn from those situations the further away from the best we become i'm trying to ask you to be the best by doing exactly what the best would do and how would you know? Because I failed. I was the best. I failed. I didn't take it the right way. I failed again. I refused to learn from that situation. Once more, failed. And it wasn't until I accepted that I failed, looked at how to better myself, looked at how to improve, that I became something more. And once I was that something more, I was so excited. And then I did what you won't. I killed. And I realized, oh, I'm good at this. Might as well sell it. And I stopped being the best because I crossed the line. You figure out your way. I'm trying to teach you a lesson so you don't do the same damn thing as me. You figure it out. I'm trying to help. You can sit there and say, I'm the best. I'm wonderful. I'm no one is. I'm giving you a shortcut. Everybody has that moment where they can do two things, learn from experience or learn from somebody who already did it. I'm giving you 
almost 20 years of experience on how to skip a really bad part of your life and move back to a part where you're better. You can do that. I actually believe that because you have a spark in you of joy that you can find again. Or else I'd let you go through all the same shit I did. And then you can end up like me. You obviously still have your family to some degree. So find what they gave you originally, focus it, harness it, and be the best. Learn. Grow. Nobody's the best being stagnant. And that's what you're doing by denying and ignoring what's happening around you is you are, you are putting up your own barriers, keeping you from being the best. And I know I'm, I'm coming on to you really hard with this, but if I don't, I feel like I'm going to put you in a situation or I'm going to leave the situation in such a way that when we, when you need to be the best, when you need to stand up and shine and make the rest of us look like absolute trash, which chances are most of us at some point are trash, you're not going to be able to. And then on that day, when everything goes wrong, you're going to have to look at yourself and say, I'm not the best. You have a chance to do it today and work towards it or wait for the day when it costs more than you're going to be willing to give at that time. You, we've all lost something once that's changed us irreparably. Your choice is to make the change now or you can do what the rest of us probably did at some point and wait years, waste time. It's your call. Now I'm just gonna go back to picking up this. <laughs> I died, miss. Yeah. You did. What do they think of me? Who cares? I do. There's your first mistake. What you are today in our minds does not equal what we can what we what you'll be tomorrow or the day after that. You're going to look at yourself and go, "What do they think?" And after if after each action you're questioning what we think, you're never going to become what you should be. Missouri. <laughs> you start to see a shimmer around Zir. Zir, you feel three pairs of arms. Slightly skinnier from each side, and then a big pair around all of you. Very gently wrap around you. All you see, though, Missouri, is shimmers. Seems like you have some friends there. Yeah. I do. And they thought I was the best. They thought you I... were their sister if you asked them. What's more important, being the best or being their sister? We always think the best of the people we care about. Zir looks at everybody because that shocked her a lot. As if it's hoping they'll chime in and say what they think. <laughs> Gwen says, we didn't think anything. We knew. Mom knew. He is right. We were wearing uh, slightly tinted lenses to look at you because you're a sister. You're a big sister. And I know we're all the same age. Don't be pedantic with me. I know you're going to be. But you were. You were our big sister. We all looked up to you. Even me, though I was too proud to admit it when I was alive. But he is right. You don't have to be the best. You don't... I know you think you do. I know you felt that way for so long, but you don't. And I don't think any of these people don't like you, and if they do, they can fucking deal with me. You think Leif's mean? <laughs> yeah. 
You don't have to trust him, Zier. But you gotta work with him. I don't want you to end up like us. You're a lot prettier than we ever were. They're just not you. You don't have to be. All we ever needed you to be was Zir. Maybe that's all they need. And hey, Gwen, uh, Gwen points over at Missouri. He almost died a couple times too, and he's still here picking up ball bearings with you. And if that grumpy old man can sit here and do this with you, I think the three downstairs will too. You just gotta give him a chance. God, who knew death would give me so much clarity? I should have died years ago. No, sh <laughs> shut up. You look over and Gwen just has a giant shit-eating grin. <laughs> um. Can you... She says this as if it is physically paining her to do so. <laughs> but she looks up at you, Mez. I'm just, the, narratively, thematically, the last ball bearing in hand. Um, can we train? We can at train. Night? I know you don't sleep. No, I don't. Uh, I'd be happy to run you through things and help you in any way I can. Just don't. Just don't let the others know. I don't want them actually thinking I'm helpful. They seem to take great joy in just being terrified half the time, and I'd hate to ruin that. It brings them so much joy. It, yeah. Well, no, not a, the, quite the opposite, but it does seem to seek them out, or they seek it out, which is strange. Um, or they're sheltered. And this is the first time doing a bunch of things that are just outside their comfort zone. They'll have to grow, too. I just don't have a reason to tell them. But you think I'm, I'm close? I think to you're being, on you're on a path. Being something really good? You're on a path to being something either incredibly good or incredibly... Um, dangerous. Um, my hope is that you stay on the good path. But I'm not going to tell you where to go. But I will warn you if I see you walking down a path too close to mine. If that's something you want. If you don't, then I'll let you go as into the darkness as deep as you'd like. I don't want to. Much respect to you. But I don't. No, no, that's fine. I don't want anyone to have to deal with what I do. It's why I offer my services in the first place, is so that people don't have to do what I do. I'm aware of what it is. You know, there's once there was a time I used to smile. And he does like a smile, like... Yeah. You, uh, you hear Leif's voice. You hear a laugh from on top of your head, Zir, and you hear... Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We should go with the others, and um, it's up to you if you want to open the door. If you choose not to try, I'll kick it in and deal with the consequences. And then if you're worried about what they think of you, if there's ever a time you're worried about what they think of you, let me know, and I'll make sure they think worse of me. Okay. Sh stars always shine so much brighter in the night. Um, I don't think I'm ready for them to know about them. Then, Ovis asks us so many questions and I don't have answers. I have a b mutually assured destruction and I lean in, I whisper in your ear, I'm not a sorcerer. <laughs> I... I don't... I, magic's not the thing that I do, but Mainland is probably very aware of that and would have told me eventually, yes. 
kind of kind of glanced to Mainland like like how would I have known that? But they don't know. And I don't have all the answers yet, so I haven't told anyone. Now you know. Um, while we're going uh, downstairs, though, you may want to yell at me or something so that that way your flushness of your face has a reason. Sure. To, what did you said, mutually assured destruction? Basically, you don't want them to know a secret about you. I gave you a secret about me. Mutually assured destruction yes basically a way of saying if for some reason i break your confidence you can break mine and what i gave you is far worse than what you have hey because i told them that on a whim and that was taken as gospel okay you saying here's something new they'll go okay my deliberately saying oh well with the facts at hand i was able to say this and be reasonably assured that it could be true one's very much iffy. <laughs> okay. Um, you should head down first, and uh, so that way you can begin your uh, your tirade. Okay, and she'll shake your hand. Um, he will give you a firm handshake, and then uh, just step back and allow you to go down the steps. I actually wait, <laughs> and she'll yeah. hug you. Uh, and he's going to like just be. Uh -huh. um, I'm really so, not good. And he's just, he says, I'm really not good at this. I'm sorry. Missouri, you feel the hug from Zier. Yes. And then you feel two hands on either shoulder, just kind of a touch for just a second. Yeah. And then a pair of really big arms wrap yeah. around you and you feel that hug get really tight. I'm like, and, and all he says, oh, okay, we're <laughs> doing, okay, we're doing this. And I'll say, uh, and I'll just say, and, and you know, Mary, uh, <laughs> and I'll just like kind of make a motion to the the, the carrion. It's yeah, it's not an it's it's, it's what is it again? It's a carrion crawler right a now. A carrion crawler which, right now. Which is even worse? Um, yes. Yeah, it's yeah, even it, worse. It's a it's a corpse beetle. Yeah, it's 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 basically it's just kind of leaning against me a bit. Like it's under my cloak like kind of like uh it um Mary jumps off and starts Well, to no, Mary's big. Mary's okay, big. Well, okay, She's so large. Mary it's her head. starts to move around you, Zier, and like through the uh, hug the way a uh, cat would. Uh, and is like rubbing up on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is actually a perfect place for our break. Yeah. Real quick, Zier to enter back into the group, kind of winking at, at Mez, will pick up. <laughs> very unwillingly pick up Mary and just increase that already started panic and then just start walking down the stairs like ah! <laughs> well keep in, keep in mind keep in mind Mary's a large monstrosity right now <laughs> you're not yeah, Mary's like horse size okay great oh so it's yeah. the head the head was right here it was so under she's chasing, like she's chasing me and I'm panicking I think yeah. this maybe what so yeah you guys we will take our break with you all seeing Zier being chased down the stairs by a giant <laughs> flesh-eating beetles. <laughs> so, during the ball-bearing adventure of 2023, um, time was passing. So we are going to reverse the clock a little bit and go down to the first floor. So... We'll put Missouri up here with Zier and let them have their ball bearing moment. Uh, so I need you to do that entire scene word for word exactly like you did it again in your head. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> you don't don't please don't cry this time. Yeah, yeah, it broke all of our hearts. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Oh, it, it's it's good. good. It's, it's good. good. Just, so, you don't need to do that part again. On okay. the first You're floor. You're so good. What's going on, guys? This door sure is locked. That's about all the ideas I have. Yeah, I, Mez seemed to uh, have a plan, and I'm just sort of, well, I'm not pleased with the man at the moment, but I am just going along with it. 
Hmm. Don't so, suppose the key would be lying around here anyway. Hmm. Well, there's not a ton of places to search, but uh, we could certainly try. I'm just going to look over uh, in his general direction. Osric, you've been rather quiet. And? I'm going to move over. Can I search, like, underneath the I staircase? tried looking, and I didn't find anything. Under where? Sorry. Could, could I look, like, underneath the staircases? I'm still listening to this conversation. Yeah. Roll an investigation move. check. Uh, cool. Bosric, Quedon, or Clovis, continue. Great. Uh, pretty close on the on the back of your statement. Uh, Clovis sort of just said, I, I, just, from what I remember, you were a pretty gregarious fellow. Yes, well, that was a very different place and time. And a lot of different people around. Fair enough. I suppose I've become quite different myself. Oh, man. Do you remember that, was... that carriage ride? I suppose it's not particularly memorable for you to do this sort of stuff all the time. I remember almost getting an eye shot out by someone with a mask. <laughs> but I've been a minute slower with a shield. I suppose it doesn't matter now. It shouldn't matter. It does matter. <laughs> it matters to me. He actually, he actively takes a few steps and just sits and actually goes, lays his sword and goes into a meditation pose just to try and... Hmm. It matters to me, Balzard. Hmm. Can you imagine what I would have done if you and your guard weren't there? Right now, all I can imagine is what my patrol and I would do if they were here. And I miss Cyrus. Hmm. We'd be a lot better off with all of them. Under your command, of course. Clovis, you remember Cyrus. He was uh, a monk, and he was a wolfkin, which to you would have looked like an elf, but with like very like gold eyes and kind of sharp teeth. Hmm. And he wielded a, uh, a star glaive, which you've seen Quedon summon a couple times. Gotcha. Oh, Cyrus, how is he? Well... He got out of the city. Um, his uh, his significant other, Des, smuggled them both out. That's how I got word to uh, to the Talrunias. Hmm. So I don't know. He's free. And, he was free and clear most of that month. Probably for the best. Can I insight check, boss? Yeah. Just get it. What are you trying to determine? So, he seems like he wants to talk about. This is to Clovis, at least. This might not be true. He mm -hmm. seem. It seems like there's something that Boz either wants to or needs to talk to or talk about, and he is not letting himself do it. Okay, um, that is very accurate. <laughs> and Clovis is trying to figure out, like, I guess maybe this is. This might be more of an insight on himself. Clovis is trying to figure out an angle here. Okay. Um, how much are you trying to hide that you want to talk, Buzz? Are you being, like, forthcoming, or are you just not I actively... don't think I have the brain to be deceitful at this okay. point. I think I'm, gonna... too, I'm too off-kilter for that. We'll set the DC but... at 10, then. Okay. Oh, uh, 23. Yeah, no, Bosric I think has I made a lot. that one, gang. Yeah. You haven't noticed the fact that he has a massive boulder of things that he has been carrying around <laughs> this <laughs> whole time. In fact, he a little been heavy, Bosric. trying to keep a, a lid on. With an inside of 23, Clovis, I'm going to give you a little bit of extra information. Bosric is trying to hide something. Very true. But they, you also see something on Bosric's face you haven't seen before. And it's very faint. And you kind of have to squint your eyes. And if you blink, you swear it's not there. But it looks like there are tribal tattoos covering the right side of his face. Hmm. 
I think Clovis will pace around for a little bit because in real time he's trying to figure out like, oh shit, what the fuck? Do, how do I, what do I say? How do I do this? Uh, he's not a book. Duh. Um, well, and then nothing eventually... under the stairs. <laughs> Eventually, completely calm on the outside, Clovis will, will sit down and notice that ta the tattoo and go, You know, when we did business before, I, I never did notice that you had that uh, mark. Because I didn't have it then. I got this pretty recently. I guess that makes sense. It, if I remember, it's been a while since I've studied up. Um, looks orcish in design. It's... Does it mean something? So, how much do you know about how orcs came to Ravania? DM, is it fair to assume I'd know like the the general basic knowledge? Um, you being studied, I'll let you roll a history check with advantage to tell you okay. how much I'll tell you. Gotcha. Uh, history is uh. Just my dad's just really to, like twenty. Just to update on on my whereabouts, like I'm I'm still like within earshot of this whole conversation. I I made that verbal. Well, nothing under the stairs. Looked over, saw you guys like <laughs> on the verge of like a of a conversational breakthrough, and I'm just gonna go right back to fake searching. <laughs> like I'm like I'm I'm intently listening. <laughs> like like so obviously fake searching. Like you see me just like putting hand like just. Like, and, and again, like, cautiously, like, not even touching, just, like, just searching around the staircase and just finding <laughs> random busy work around the two of you to do. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did uh, you get on that history check, Clovis? 21. Okay, um, then you actually would know everything. So, um, you would know about, uh, I know the all. Calamity, which was when a Realm Breaker ship, which is my version of a spell jammer oh, damn. um it's like a spell jammer but instead of like magically teleporting it actually forces itself through the veil they are very mm -hmm. very violent ships um and this would have been in, in the time before death when the soul when the uh tree of life was still alive gotcha. uh, one of them crashed and no one survived but another one came looking for them, and the menials and, like, the servants on that ship were all orcs. And when that ship was driven off by the residents of Ravania, some of the orcs stayed behind okay. because they had a better life here. Hmm. So um, they came out of servitude, and even here, they are viewed with a lot of distrust because they're not from here. They were not created by the Great Souls. Hmm. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know how Clovis would summarize all of that, um, but it would just, yeah, um, if I recall, it's something to do with the... We were uh, slaves. Well, they were slaves. I'm yes, the follow. ship. Well, you're half orc. No fork. The ears. Yeah. So, when the orcs remained here, you know, they tried to integrate as much as possible. And when they did, you know, Orcish tradition, a lot of it centers around war. I mean, not everyone can be a warrior, but those that can, they try as hard as they can. And there's a lot of veneration of ancestors that were great warriors. We Now, keep in mind, I learned all of this just this past month, and I'll tell you why. But... The greatest warriors of ancestors rise to stand at the side of the gods, which, you know, when we had when we were stuck here, became Bolgraf and Atros. Hmm. See, a month ago was um, it was my littlest sister's birthday. She was four years old. And my mum and dad brought her and my oldest, no, I'm the oldest, but the older sister, my sister Val, my brother Cor, my littlest sister, little Ella. They brought them all to 
uh, to Tanis to because they knew I was going to be there. And we all celebrated on the first, second day. It was all great. Then on the third day, the third day, Ella woke up with a cough. And it didn't. It didn't fix. It just got worse. Oh goodness. In the quarantine, they took her. She lasted eight days. Eight days she fought tooth and nail for every breath. They finally let us see her right at the end. And I held her hand and I told her, I told her she was strong. I told her, I told her she'd beat it. And now I know something did this to her. Something here made a liar of me in front of my sister right before she died. It was either Queen or one of his friends consigned her to the flame, thank goodness, but... Sorry. No, no, that's a good thing. That's that's all boreal. Yes. Queden, not to cut in on your conversation here, boss, because I want this to keep going, but Queden, you no, do please. remember because you remember everybody because yeah. you took care of them. You remember yeah. a very small half-orc girl. Absolutely. Continue. Well, I got a little angry when I heard you, was, you were being mistreated because who mistreats the one that lets the dead pass on? Although... I won't say it didn't cross my mind not to break into your temple and challenge the Grey Slayer. The only thing that stopped me is, well, my mom took me to the side and she told me that because because Ella died fighting the disease, she'd be with the ancestors. I don't know if that's true, but that's what these tattoos for. Mm. If it could Boz. be true, Bosric, it is. It I don't know. Is, especially for a child. That's quite a hell of a fight. That's what I thought until our smoky friend aimed his wep his fear weapon at me. Oh, that must have. I see. I don't know what to believe anymore. Boss, Welcome to the club. Boss, I, I said this to you uh, back at the back at the tavern and, and now I know it even more to be true you are very strong as was your sister I am very sorry for your loss your your words still are are kind if it, if it is any consolation she just as all the rest received the utmost of care. I'm often more comfortable around the dead than the living. And... Uh, well... What lies beyond is a mystery even to me. We all have our theories, our wishes, our hopes, our worries. But... I did everything I could to make sure that everyone who came by my work passed on safely and passed on peacefully to whatever lies beyond. And, well, it is work that I do dutifully, even though, well, let's just say your, your thoughts of barging in and trying to change fate were a lot more than thoughts for many in the land. I wasn't about to fight you. I was about to go after the Grey Stalker. The, the... Yes, but I am often the uh, first point of contact. Oh, 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 those type of idiots. Yes. They think they can get a word in, or, well. We think it's your to blame, bro. They use you as a scapegoat. Perhaps. I also don't give the best of first impressions, but uh, 
my my business in the kingdom is is long past me. The, the point is now I am I am dedicated to serving the dead, but the living as well. Especially those of us who have lost, which although I don't although we have all just met seems to be a commonality amongst uh, adventuring types even if I can't call that call myself that I couldn't either this is the first time I've been without the without the vigil I've, <laughs> I mean I tried something tactical down there when the when the the bone wolves attacked and that went up and complete almost got Missouri killed it was a good plan what was that about them closing the door on us? That kind of sucked. Yes. Well, it would have been we're, a good plan. Because we're outsiders. And then, Does I nobody don't... here know what trust means? Like, yes, I get it. This place is terrible. But, like, come on. It's not like we didn't all live a regular life before this. Is it so alien of a concept to consider trying to hold on to the things that made us strong out there in here? They do mention quite a lot the time is very different yeah. here perhaps they have lost many of their memories of their life before and clovis i trust me i i i know i i i, I well i've i've said this but this is the first i mean this is the first group of people who hasn't looked on me with complete disgust and disdain for not only my profession but my my personality, my, my way of being, my actions. I, th the fact that you don't know me, well, that may or may not be an advantage. But regardless, this is like, I, I, I want to hold on to this. I, I want to to protect all of you. That is my, my clerical instincts, I suppose. But we have all... Part of the job description. Yes. We have all also just met. And that is something that I do have to keep reminding myself, especially when it comes to Young Zier and, and both of our alarm at her uh, reappearance. Would I be. understand. I, I understand your apprehension. It's, trust me. Well, <laughs> as much as you can. But patience. I oh no. It. I'll be the first to admit that I really muck that whole situation up but um i think one um, one of the i have to say and i'm just going to say this this might this might be mildly offensive but i will be perfectly transparent to a degree i don't trust any of you That's Lovis, you were the closest i'm going to tell you because you are the one i know best you found, i like that you found a backbone but don't let it turn you too suspicious, too inquisitorial. It was a little, a little unnerving back at the tavern when Mizora was very clearly upset at something else and you jumped at him. I don't blame you for fear. Don't let it turn into paranoia. Although, I suppose here, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get in there. I'm, re I'm mucking that up. Queden? What the 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 part of you that I find a liability is sadly the one that you have no control over. It's your trauma, and I've been that's why I've been trying to get you to calm. But I don't know the full extent that. of what it runs, and I don't know. Just, I love. I would love it if we could all just sit together and talk and get down trauma the open. Dump. But there is no there is no easy way to ask for that. And we don't. We I don't trust any of you. Face sir as hell. Don't trust. It's, it's, I don't know what, this is why I wish I had the vigil. Those are all people I've known at least a year, and know all their capabilities, but, Mazura, I'm all, it's less that I don't, not that I don't trust him, and more that I don't trust his abilities, because I don't think he knows everything he can do. Oh, that's, that's why I was asking that about his, yeah. that's why I was asking about his cloud, then, is because, if we could all just be, up front with our abilities and get some 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 synergy going it would be something but it's just 
it's too soon and there's too much distrust. And as for Zia, well, like I said, she almost put an arrow in my eye. Well, but if you would like to be upfront, what would you like to know? Hmm? How can I help you to keep you from freezing up? When I see the lichens? <laughs> uh huh. You don't have to tell me why. Just tell me what I can do to help. Well, I'll be honest, Buzz. You were... You have been the only member of this party to directly attempt to help at all. I mean... Well, Clovis, we... We talked about it, but... I do appreciate your... your direct uh... you, you did ground me in a moment when I needed it and I do appreciate that I I don't do well with the with the with the whole physical touch thing um okay then so, on. but yeah it, it, it's okay yeah um it's fine um it's just very um well it is a symbol that has followed me for far far longer than meeting Zarakis for the first time and it is a cruel twist of fate that it is seemingly the a, a daily occurrence now a foe that I, I i swore i would never attempt to venture out into the woods again just for the the pure chance of of meeting them again but <laughs> I, honestly boz and i know you said you don't trust any of us and that's fine i want you to you don't I want have to. to it's just right now there's a lot in the way as you have clocked my entire life, whether fairly or otherwise, because of my actions, I have been ridiculed. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Zarakis was the only one who was ever able to teach me even a little bit of magic because I was expelled from all of the, I mean, I applied as an apprentice under, what, maybe six wizards in my day, and they all, I mean... <laughs> I, I was I was desperate to to learn something to make me stronger, and I I was shown the door countless times. So, just the the mere fact that I am with a group of people who seems to appreciate or or gain benefit from any of the things that I do, even if I I, I have tried to be a benefit to society for for so so many years, and it it just it keeps falling flat on its face this this even if i have no clue what, what the fuck i'm doing this this feels like the one few days in basically my entire life that whatever the hell i'm doing seems to be going mildly okay so honestly that's enough that really is enough i this is chaotic and this is yes extremely traumatic but i i just kind of i mean I've just been lonely. <laughs> I've just been very, very lonely. So, this is good. And no, I'm not ready to entirely trauma dump, but... Uh, the little shit matters. It really, really does. Any other questions? Yeah, one. I know yeah. you were a bit of a touch, but I give you a hug. You look like you need one. Oh, oh. Um. I do, uh, I'll, I'll do a. I'll, I'll. I'll 
I, I to say to say no would feel bad. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh yeah. Hey, boundaries are important. Yeah. Perhaps a oh. perhaps a handshake. Oh, just, mm, okay. Yeah, I'll do. I'll mm -hmm. do that. Then yeah, uh, it. Yeah, it's. I'll. I'll give you like a like a forearm handshake. Yeah, like, that's like, like the good. Yeah. That's... I'll give you one of those. Yeah. So at this point of brotherly bonding, you hear, and Zir comes streaking down the stairs, chased by a giant carrion crawler, just galloping after her. <laughs> So I think at this point, uh, <laughs> ah! Ah! oh my god! I, I will walk out like just like nothing's happening. Just yeah. is that yours? Mary's a little <laughs> excited. That's all. Mary, right. stop, friend. Oh, oh, that one hurt. But, but she looked so fun. I, I just, I just wanted to play, to play catch. I wasn't going to hurt her. Just give her a little, a little squeeze with the pincers. Uh, maybe, maybe not, not, not so much a squeeze with the pincers, but I uh, remember that hurts. That hurts. Um, is this in Sylvan or is it? No, this is, this is in no. common. Oh, this oh. is in common. Oh, oh you talk. Oh, neat. Oh, you talk Mary's been talking have... the whole well, time. Right, you can talk something I can understand. I couldn't speak what I, was it? Sylvan? I can't speak Sylvan. Yo. I know I should learn, but I have. The stronger master gets, the stronger I get. That tracks. <laughs> Um, hello. <laughs> I'm literally going to walk up to the carrier calling up. Hello there. Um, it um it kind of tilts its head at you, and then like looks down, and then its foreleg kind of lifts up and just, <clears throat> and then it looks back at you, Mazora, like the dad. Did I do good? <laughs> and I'll just I'll nod approvingly, and um I'll uh. Zir, can I see your um, blade very quickly? I'm just a little curious about it, and so. I'm going to take it and then just uh, look it up and down. And Mary, would you mind helping me with this really quickly? And I'll extend it for Mary to take her tentacle and wipe along the uh, the blade, um, giving it um, some paralyzing poison along the okay. blade. And um, I'll just, I will, I will say mind, and I will slide it back into your scabbard and say, the next thing you cut, won't be able to move with any luck. It, oh, uh, Mary has a very powerful poison in this form. I didn't... I didn't really know that a sword could be more than sword? You know what I mean? What do you mean? Okay, so you don't know what I mean. I, I mean... I do not. I'm a very literal person at times. I had a, I had a sword and, and then it got a a liquid applied to it, and now there's a new liquid. Uh, am I just collecting sword liquids? It's now? a very wet sword. It's, it is. It's, it's it's so wet. So in in the defense, like I well, I'm a hundred percent happy to play this bit, but the lacquer is like board wax. It's just like yes. it's like it's yes. candle wax. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> so um, yes, um, that's something to learn over time is that things can be applied to make you more efficient. This, if you score a tag with this on something, um, depending on what you cut, uh, you could render your ta your target um, paralyzed for a short period of time. Understood. And I'll just look up, uh, Boz. And I'll make a motion, like, with the weapon. Yeah, snow. Yes. And then I'll oh. just... And I'll hold it out for Mary because I'm like, you know, I'm not going to move it in any way. And then same, I will just reapply it into <laughs> where you hold it. Like, So um, Mary is now very excited to be useful. So what it what actually happens, Boz, is she kind of takes the sword out of your hand. Yeah. And I don't know if you've ever seen videos of like a cricket cleaning their mouth, <laughs> but that's essentially what it looks like. She wraps her mouth around your sword and just very slowly manipulates it through her jaws. And then kind of just, like, holding it in her jaws by the point, hands it back to you. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. The you. secret to weapons is get wet. Yeah. Um, that's okay. something I'll show you. Uh, depending on um, what form Mary takes, uh, she has a wonderful array of abilities. Hmm. This one in particular is very uh, 
sensitive to smell, like the incense that I burned. Oh, yes, for the thing. So she can track the... Well, technically, we should be able to now as well. Mm. Just keep, hurts, an, keep your nose my nose. And you see her start to, like, yeah. mess with her... Right now, there's a very powerful um, scent that's hurting her, but it's not hurting us. So mm. we'll also be able to smell the uh, that same incense you smelled in the bedroom. So Mary starts to twitch her head around, and then she looks at the double doors. It's coming from there. Whatever yes. is hidden is behind those doors. Uh, Clovis will look to the two of you just like unaware that there's like lingering issue uh, just be uh, did the two of you find a key upstairs anywhere um I'm a thief I am the key <laughs> and she'll she'll go to oh. the door hmm. yes all right give me a I wouldn't slight have spent of hand so much check. time looking DC 18. Oh. Okay. Did anyone give her guidance or advantage? I... <laughs> Wrong, dude. <laughs> I unfortunately do not have that. Whedon, do you have the guidance cantrip? Uh, no. Okay. Sick. Darn. Slide of hand? Slide of hand, yes. Wait, DC yes. 18. Wait, hold on, yes. Okay, you can guide Zira if you want to Guidance give her an extra cute. D4. Yeah, I'm, I will give I'm you currently, that. I'm currently lockpicking the door. Yes. All right, uh, Quedon, how does your how does your guidance look? How does my guidance look? Let me read the spell. <laughs> DM does have an answer if you can't think of one, but I'd prefer to hear it from you. Of yeah. course. Um... Also, it's the door that Clovis's token is in front of? Yes, correct. <laughs> Great. Yeah, sorry, let me drag you and Bez downstairs. Yes, I have I've transported myself. Yeah, I'm All like, right. uh, considering I'm running the one for D&D &D for the uh, yeah, stream. Yeah, sorry, I'm like... Mez. <laughs> Uh, where do you want to be? Near Boz, near Queden, or up near the door? I would be up near the door. All right. Yeah, I'd say by now we probably should. Yeah, I think we had our conversation somewhere else, but I, I feel like Clovis at least would have, as this started happening, moved back to the, the door. My brain is not moving very fast after the medical leave I just had to take. Uh, oh. go, uh, you go. Okay, so... Um... Apologies. It's okay. Um, you never have to apologize for that. Uh, Zir, you, as you are um, kind of messing with the lock, you feel the warmth of a very large dog just kind of sitting next to you. And as you look over, you see a pair of gleaming white eyes at about the height of where a large dire wolf's eyes would be. But that's all Ooh. you see. That's okay. Funny. Guidance is D4? Yes. Yeah. Rolled by me, rolled by you. Rolled by you. Rolled by me. Okay. Sleight of hand. Check. Oh. <laughs> Come on, D4. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, please. Got this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> With the guidance, we nailed it. Yes. All right. So at first, it seems like it's not going to work. But then, like, like I get you a, feel I get the tumblers not quite dig, and as you start to freak out, you look over and you see the wolf's head go, and then you're like, no, "Oh no, wait, no, I no. need to go a little further," and then you undo the tumbler. Nice. Oh. And with a, these two large double doors open to a stone staircase. Do I see the guidance at all, real quick? Yes, you did. Everyone yeah, sees. I, it. I like, I, I like. You see me like tense up a little bit and then my shoulders drop. I just say, good boy. And like... <laughs> Odd Zier, dog. Zier very reflexively as soon as the door starts to open, we'll back up. <laughs> yeah. She's learning. <laughs> so I think all of you should be able to see a staircase now. Uh... And a room. It's over on, on the far side okay. of the room you were just in. 
Yeah. Yes. So please yes. place yourselves on the large stone staircase. Boop. I'm just pulling out an, an extra token. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can put you there. Wow. Smart. Oh, please do. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's a big distance to travel. All the appreciation. Oh, I zoomed yeah, no worries. way too far. It, it is... It is just easier for me to put this all on one map than make you guys keep switching. Because <laughs> I didn't want you guys to think you all had to be on the same level at any one time, so... Hmm. All right. Uh, and then Queen will move you over as well. Um, all right. So you can see into this room. Um, it is a very large room. Uh, there is a door here. There is a door, a grate here. So like a portcullis door. And then there's another door here. Mm -hmm. The smell, uh, Mary indicates, is coming from here. Also, we need Mary. Mary, yes, Mary. Yes, I will. I will. Mary. I will drag out Mary. I got her. Breathtaking. <clears throat> Such a sweet gal. Mm -hmm. I love her. She's a very good, good worm. She's a very good whatever she is at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what would you guys like to do? You have opened the door. I think Clovis is going to pull out his shield, but then he'll look to, um, in turn, Boz and then Missouri. I'm literally looking at, at, at Bozrek like this. Um, I think that's Missouri for plan. <laughs> did you have a did you have an idea? I'm sorry, I didn't even... I'm flying pretty blind right now. Allow us to fly blind with you. Bozrek, stand in front. Um, let's... Uh, and I'm obviously eyeing up your, like, what you're wearing and everything, and I'm just... Uh... Quaden. Follow up behind Bozrek. Um, Zir, stay to his side. He can empower both of you and or defend himself. Mary and I will cover the rear. Clovis is uh, proven quite adept at support and occasional spells, but um, he'll help me carry up the rear. If I can venture, this is a great plan. Um, and Clovis will hold up his shield and he'll pull back some of this like thick, like priory garment that he wears. Like a, he wears like a thick priest Cossack and you'll see the glimmer of his chainmail. I might be a little bit more useful on the front lines than I've suggested in the past. I agree with you. However, you've you've taken hits in the past. I need you in the back because if something comes in, a well-armored person in the front and the back is more fortuitous for us. That's Understood. Right. The smell's coming from the two doors in, ahead of us. It might be uh, advantageous to make sure that the other two directions are not going to create an issue for us. Um, as the door opens, I need everybody to roll a perception check. Actually, yeah, no, roll perception. This is not based on scent, but Mary can still hear it, so nobody gets advantage on this. 15. 15? Cool. Uh, dirty 20. That is a nat one. That is oh, a 19. <laughs> Queen, you got your own thing going on. It's okay. Yeah, I sure do. 17. Okay. I feel one dog. Um... I got and Bosrick, you got a 15? I got that dog in me. <laughs> you got that dog in me for real. <laughs> woo! Woof, woof. All right. Um, Clovis and Missouri, you are the only ones that hear it. But you hear a very, it sounds distant, voice. A girl's voice say, Friends? Did mother send me no friends? I immediately look around at the group to try and clock whoever. And I think by his look, Missouri, you would probably, if you look around, all you would see that Clovis also heard. Um, can we clock where the voice is coming from? Which direction? Behind this door. 
Hold on, I was scrolled off. Can you? Okay. The the close. Um. So I I'll I'll look at you and say um. And I, I will say up to the group. To our right is a voice asking if Mother sent friends. The question is, do we deal with the smell or and worry about this later, or do we go to the side first? If it's Katya, she has Dimitri. If it's not Katya, it's something worse. <laughs> I can have a I can have a hand opening it so that, that way we don't have to get too close, and we can deal with whatever comes out. There is no sign of Dimitri that we can see. No, That's not that you master. can see. Okay. Uh, the stone down here, or the stone down here, the floor down here is made of stone. It does not leave footprints, um, mm -hmm. and it looks rough hewn. This is the newest thing in the house. Mm -hmm. It appears like this is a very recent addition. And it appears to have been carved out of the very mountain the castle is built on. HOA is not going to like this. They may have killed the HOA. I hate to tell you. Um. <laughs> I'm not going to say I wasn't inspired by this when I made my Minecraft house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Who's seen this Minecraft house? <laughs> no. Um. The three people at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Um... I'll move my hand and have that just smoky hand form and start moving towards the door. Okay. Uh, which one? The door that the, the voice came from? The door, the door that the voice... The, the smell is coming The door from? that okay. the voice came from. And I will say, if it's dangerous and we go into the door straight ahead, then we have no recourse. Does anyone disagree? Probably be safer to at least know what we're dealing with. And so then I'll just push my hand forward and the hand will just go over and then try to open the door. Um, okay. Uh, the door opens. Um, and you make, you can see into this very large room. Uh, there is another door at the top. Um, and, uh, the room looks mostly empty. You see, like, food troughs, and it seems like someone has been kept here, sort of like a prison. And in the corner, you see two figures. You see a young boy covered in dirt, holding his legs to his face and gently crying. And you see what can only be described as a 12-year-old girl if she had been stretched, looming over him with long fingers and says, it, It's okay, Dimitri. Mother sent us more friends. And as the face turns to you, the black hair that only covers half of the head and the face kind of spills away as this dirty hair and this long, torn, dirty dress looks at you with one bulbous black eye and it says did mother send you to play with us you are Katya mother told you my name your sister told us your love name me. your sister's told us your name no they hate me they bully me. I'm sure to hear that. I am not pretty like them. It is okay. My place is beneath them. Do you want to play a game with them? We're currently playing tag. Oh. I, 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 I can't. No, you're, you're too beautiful. Like, you can stay with me, though. I. I am so lonely. How does Dimitri look? Dimitri is sobbing. Very quietly in the corner. He doesn't look like he's been hurt, but he looks dirty and he looks terrified. Okay. 
they gave me Dimitri to play with. But I think he's afraid. He won't play with me. What are you like to look at my face? Do you move into the room at all, by uh, the way? Um, I'm at the door and uh, I'll say, okay. let me see your face. I think I can, um, I think I can find a way to make uh, Dimitri not be afraid of your current face. So she reaches the spindly fingers up and pulls the hair aside. And as she does, some of it catches in her fingers and pulls out. So two questions. One, do I know what creature this is given my history and studies? No. This looks like a person. This looks like it was once an elf that has been deformed beyond recognition. Dimitri. Dimitri. Dimitri looks up. Are you a... She's worried you're afraid of her. Are you afraid of how she looks? I, I, I want to go home. I, I miss Mati. Please, mm. please, Mr. Mazura, take me home. No, no, you, you, you can't, you can't leave. You can't leave me alone here. You can't leave me alone here. I, I'm actually going to get Katia. What? What? How long have you been here? What's what's trying to? I'm actually going to try and mimic. Get, get, get the, what? How long have you been here? I can't do this accent. Uh, move yourself up, Bosric, if you're moving. Yeah, I'll how go. Long in have you been here? You're going into the room. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so the room is yet there. Cool. Yeah. Trying to do the accent. I've, I've oh. always ah, I get it. been here. All alone? Ma I was born here. Ma Mati put me down here because I didn't look like my sisters. She was ashamed. That's... that's awful. They... they lied to you. They lied to you. They are perfect. The mother says they were successful and I was a failure. That she didn't get it right the first time. Well... I'm the oldest, not Natasha, not Ivanka, me. I was Mati's first. I'm going to talk to uh, Mary for a second and say, how much do you care about Dimitri? Personally, not to me, to you. How much do you care about Dimitri? You cannot ask me to not care about what you think I am connected to you. If you like Dimitri, I like Dimitri. We need you to notice get... he's picking up different accents that he's hearing. And so I'm gonna pull back and can I speak to the um my creature telepathically or do I have to only speak out loud? You have to speak out loud. Um I'm going to um back away. I'm gonna come back to further out here and I'm gonna say she wants something to play with. You are interesting. If we can get Dimitri, we can run Dimitri out the door and you can um, disappear. You know, I'm actually going to... Is this is this something you think you'd be willing to try? I don't want to put you in danger, but this is dangerous. I will try, but if she's attached to Dimitri, I don't know if it will work, but we could try. Um, I won't fit through the door, though. True. Um, okay. Um, and you noticed, looking at the door, it seems to have been built that way so Katya cannot leave. She is very large. Katya, and I'll go back, Katya, is there a bigger door um, that um, you can get into another room where we can get something large inside? I think I have something for you, someone for you to play with that I think you're really going to like. Mati, mother, can open the wall, but I cannot. I don't know how. Okay. So, would you like a big toy in exchange for your small toy? 
why do I have to trade? Because we want to clean Dimitri up, so he's a he's a newer toy. Right now he looks like an old toy, but we can make him new. Let me show you. Come to the door and look at what I'm offering you to Roll play a with. Perception check. Oh yes. <laughs> I know I have a high. There it is. Um, when the charisma caster can charisma roll. So that's going to be a 27. <laughs> okay. Um, she... Uh, she kind of walks on all fours over to the door. And um, when she looks out, Mary will be... She, obviously, this big creature like, kind of goes up and moves her tentacles and moves her pincers and it kind of just runs in a circle and um, like I say, this is Mary. Mary loves to play games. Mary. Mary's pretty. I think Mary, people, a lot of people are really scared of Mary, but I think Mary's beautiful. I'm not scared of men. I, I see scarier things. Well, I, I understand that feeling. I have too. But Mary would like to play. Mary, play with me and Dimitri. And then she, like, skips back over. Mary, play with us. All of you play with us. DM, there's a door in the top uh, left of this room, right? That's not the one that we entered? Uh, this one? Yes. Mm, yes, there is a slightly discolored bit of rock. Okay. I'm actually going to kind of get Mizuru's attention. Uh, I will, like, it's not hard. He's very observant, so my eyes will dart to you, and I'm looking right at you. Let's see. Uh, I say, uh, can't you give us a moment? I really don't. I know, I know this is a really long shot, but I honestly think she's as much a victim as Dimitri is. And I you know there is, the odds are longer than the space between Ravania and Orem and the Dragon Isles combined, but I do not want to leave her here. Can I, just, I agree. Can, can I be very, very honest with you? Go for it. I don't give a fuck about her one way or the other. Um, she may be a victim, but we have a victim who can resume a normal life, and we have a presumed victim who very much does not seem like she's open to rehabilitation. So... Right now, my thought is get the one we can save, and if possible, I'm very open to saving the other. But we'd have to give her something to get her out here. That's now, true. how do you propose we get her out here? Um, did anybody take That's, a look at... Yeah, yeah, that is the rub. Also that keep is. in mind that I'm offering a trade because if Mary disappears, we've hurt I nothing, know. we've harmed nothing, we've broken nothing. I'm, Dimitri I'm, I'm, has said he wants to go home, which was part of the deal. He can go home if he wants to go home. He does. We have, we have met every qualification. That's true. We need a clean transfer. Yeah, that's also 100% true. That's... This stage is good, so... Um, so I will head back over to the door. How do we get Mary in there with you? don't know which wall opens can you point to it uh, and she points to the discolored wall I think Clovis will walk over to it okay um, for positioning's sake please walk over to it yes yeah I'm going to um, do do I notice any sort of like obvious mechanism no okay uh, in terms of uh, architecture, as Clovis is is studied on buildings, do I notice joints or seams? Uh, you notice a very thin seam on either side. Okay. Uh, would I be able to tell if it's up or down? That's to that, the side. Okay. 
so it would either hinge open or close. Okay. Mm. Um, from over there, I think I would call to uh, to Boz and Mizura. Seems whatever that other door was, there might be some mechanism on the other side that opens this. Um, real quick, uh, Zir, because you moved, uh, you can now see into the graded room over here. You see a pit leading down and what appears to be like a why do you not reveal areas <laughs> roll 20 uh it seems like it's like a charnel pit there's a there is a um a deep uh i'm sorry that's not the charnel pit that's a staircase down but you can see blood dragging to this door which you can now see from where you are Ooh. Uh, but Love this that. is a step down, and as you look through the door, you hear that again. Um, Zir starts to move, hesitates, and then walks over to Mez and just whispers, I'm gonna go look at what's over there. I won't go far. I was gonna say stay close um, very well good luck and she smiles knowing that she has done a good thing <laughs> in informing people where she was going <laughs> and then goes okay um, so we'll as get, you she'll get here okay uh, the the heartbeat sound gets louder as you get closer to the door She's just going to stand here for a minute and observe it. See if there's any... She knows that they're kind of having conversation. She's going to observe the heartbeat and see if it changes when it changes. Okay. Was, um... <laughs> you bumped your forehead and went out of existence. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um... So I'll, I'll, I'll address her again. Do you know what's it through that door so we can try to get you out? Mother says that is where I was born. She says it's her la laboratory. Oh. Sometimes mother goes in there and makes the worst sounds. Sometimes people go in there with mother. They do not come out. The only people I've seen come out of that room are mother and my sisters but my sisters never went in what if we could get you in that room and make you beautiful like you or however you we'll want to get be. you out of or we'll get you out of the castle do, do you want to leave no. the castle i cannot leave mother no so she would hurt me so if no you one go can see me i am a failure no no but not every failure stays that way you said that your sisters came out of that room beautiful, right? My sisters never went in. But they came out beautiful, right? What if we go in and find a way to make you the way you... How do you want to be? Do you want to be beautiful? I... I don't know. I only know what I am. And as she looks to you and the hair falls away, you see that she's got, like, no cheek on this side of her mouth, and you can see rows of razor-sharp teeth going way further back than they should on a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that seems par for the course. Um, And there is a thick red liquid leaking out of the, the non-skin side of her mouth that looks kind of like blood. Um, how close is she moved? Away? She's moved away from Dimitri, correct? Uh, she is about uh, here. Where yeah, is he? I'm going to put I'm going to put one of the Selchadot daughters on the screen so you can see where she is. 
Could we also have a token to represent Dimitri's location? I'm a yes. little fuzzy on where in the room he is. Uh, we're going to use Shotgun Granny to represent Dimitri. Hell yeah. Hmm. Okay. Good to so, so your sisters are mean to you? I should make her the right size. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, that's fine. We got one too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're so Kaiju fight. Me. Kaiju fight. Um, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Is there something that you would trade Dimitri for so that we can clean him up? What would you, what would you trade him for? What kind of creature? Let me think about it. Let me think. And she kind of goes over and kind of like looms over Dimitri and like sits down like around him the way that like snakes protect their eggs. And she says, I will think. And then she crosses her fingers. Is there any sign of food um, in this room? So, uh, There is a sign of food in this room, which is you see several carcasses and skeletons in various states of devour and decay. Okay. Um, Humanoid looking or? Some. Animal. Okay. So I'm going to call her back and say, let me show you a book. And I'm going to... She gonna, doesn't move. She doesn't move? No. I, okay, because I'll, I'll, I was going to say, is, uh, I can show you the kind of creatures I can offer. I need to think. Okay. You can go into Mother's laboratory. Lab you can go into Mother's room, but I need to think. Thank Dimitri you for your... Dimitri stays with me. And as she says, Dimitri stays with me, one of her hands reaches up and the long fingers kind of wrap around Dimitri's head and just pull him into her really close um i will say to the group we've been given permission to go into mother's laboratory we should go in uh clovis from where he is as the person kind of closest to them is going to look back to mez and uh loaded with alternative meaning is going to say uh, glancing back at Dimitri very frequently and sort of uh, jingling his shield a little bit. Perhaps someone should stay just in case an accident were to happen. Let's not invite fate just yet. The less um, options that are available, the more control we'll have of the situation. I agree. So someone remaining behind would offer opportunity that we wouldn't potentially maybe want to offer at this moment? Look very, uh, Clovis looks very pointedly at Dimitri and then back at Mizora and says, as long as you're sure. I'm entirely not, but I'm thinking about the best interest which overrides my want at the moment. I will not hurt Dimitri. He, he's not a toy. Like, my sisters think he's my friend. I not hurt my friend if he doesn't try to leave. I know. You won't Katya. try to leave That's me, good. will you, Dimitri? No, no, uh, no, Miss Katya, I won't try to leave. Then I won't hurt him. I don't want to. Very good. I don't like to hurt things. We know, Katya. Very good. It's fine. But sometimes things make me so angry. <laughs> Okay. And I will walk out of the room and start approaching the double doors um, if okay. anyone else is going with me. I know yeah. Mary is, but I would hope that mm. anyone else would go with me too. Oh, um, so we're going to pop back over to Zir. Zir, are you going to approach the grated door? Uh, have I noticed while this conversation is happening any changes in the heartbeat? No. When it reached that one pitch where you're at, as you get closer, it does not get louder. And after a bit, it actually starts to fade. Okay, but there isn't any... And it doesn't seem to correlate with the tension or conversation in the room. There's not a, a quickening or a slowing at any point. It's a steady no. beat. Mm -hmm. Okay. You hear a voice in your head. Okay. Hello? Is Who this some? You? Is this something trying to telepathically communicate to me? Yes, it is. 
don't consent. Get get sh get shielded, bitch. <laughs> I have a ring. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I'll walk towards the door. I can. T I sense that something's trying to talk to me, and I go, mm. <laughs> um, and I'll walk towards the door. Okay. Uh, you feel. I'll be here. Disappointment. Okay. And then amusement. Perfect. Excellente. I'll, and... I'll hold here for a moment and look mm. back at the group. Uh, Seeing her over there, I'll actually go. Anything interesting over there? I'll, I'll hold a hand. What were you going to yeah. say? Coming DM. up the stairs, you see something. You she see... nods quietly. <laughs> you see a little girl with long brown hair in a white dress. And she says, Can you hear me now? Aha. Who yes. Who? I'm Death. Who are you? <laughs> No, you're not. I've met Death. He's a lot bigger than you. Death goes by many forms. Can we see and hear this? No. No, okay. Oh, or just her side? Actually, yes. You can. He does. But he always feels the same. Not like you. Can like I try him. to... And he looks over your shoulder at Cleden. <laughs> like him. Uh, can I try to conjure up if there was a specific feeling, maybe like an intensity or coldness whenever I died? What was it like? There it is. You just like as you think of like the feeling you had when you died. Perfect. And I now I remember this as you. Well also. I saw you in the tunnel. I gave <laughs> you back. <laughs> and she holds out her hand to you. Do you want to come with me? You don't like these people. You could stay with me if you wanted to. I can even give you back your family. I've had a lot of people promise me to bring back my family, but they're right here. And she looks time, past you. They're also over there, and all of them. <laughs> are probably going to kick your ass and she's going to take her rapier out. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've heard that little girl? Uh, A lot of people have made promises. Come here. Roll a wisdom save. Oh, okay. With disadvantage because you have a corruption point. Um. We hey, so we can superhear all of this, right? Oh, mm -hmm. for sure, Z. Awesome. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely coming to check this out. Uh -huh. Um, is this a spell or other magical effect? Technically, yes. So be, because you have advantage, that will be flat. Flat. Yes. That's excellent. Oh, the rolls have been so mediocre today, folks. That's a 10. It was a great line, though. Um, <laughs> you in your head. Sorry, I accidentally closed roll 20. <laughs> deny it with every, every bit of your willpower. And you know that you're not going to do this. But your body starts to move. 
Guys. Um, <laughs> guys. I would um, say immediately reach yeah. out and be like, what? I will run over and physically restrain her if I have to. She holds up her other hand, not you. And I need everybody to roll a constitution save. Okay. I was going to ask how much of that I sense being, you know, death cleric and everything. But uh, was... You don't sense death energy from this person. It's a 17. 18. Okay. Uh, I will... Constitution save? Yes, please. It's a 15. Okay. I will. I still have an inspir. How, how big is an inspiration? Because I still. Have uh, you one. just uh, roll another d twenty. It's like lucky. Oh, okay then. Yeah. I will DM inspiration is. Cool. Yeah, it's not like bardic inspiration. Not much better. Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> okay, so as you all move forward, and she holds up her hand, all of you stop. Oh, do I need to roll one for Mary? Yes. So technically, I should be like, all fair. So Mary, Mary's a 19 plus. What the hell does she get? We all failed except Mary. If Mary makes it, I'll piss myself off. Mm -hmm. Plus three. So a 22 for Mary. Wow. Mary is paralyzed. Ooh. Is this a fear effect? Oh. No, it is a paralysis okay. effect. Gotcha. Oh. The DC is higher than 22. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's, okay. That's... I was about to say, if Mary's like, I got this, boys, I was going to be like, no, we are done, guys. Clutching and up. Zir, you start to very slowly walk towards her. Okay. You don't have to. You can try playing with this little family you have. But I'll see you again. Death. And I'll wear your skin like a fucking coat. And then she disappears. Do I keep moving or no. do I stop? Now the spell fades from all of you. Okay. Oh, I was going to do something so metal if I kept moving, but that's awesome <laughs> too. Can I, well, can I like continue move? Like, like having been stopped from paralysis, mm -hmm. can I just like continue moving and like yeah. grab her and go like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, fashion sense of the little girl aside let's get in here and get the hell out um uh-huh uh-huh um i'm just gonna go like this and i'm gonna send <laughs> sorry <laughs> I i'm gonna share on stream i don't even care i went like this like i was gonna cast my mage hand to go open the doors and i went like this and my wife is over there with her boobs out going like this <laughs> <laughs> and so and i didn't notice it so when i went like this i was like i'm done i'm done i don't care oh, i love so, you and mama. that's why they call her mama distracted oh yeah Ca you, <laughs> my mage you, hand disappeared you cast a spell all right it's weird you, oh, yeah, you cast, cast something uh, you, you cast a spell <laughs> Um, <laughs> skin to stone anyone <laughs> so my mage hand will um, reach forward and try to open the door to the laboratory and as it does it I'll say everyone get back get ready just in case um the door opens that's, that's, that's already a problem you see into an oblong room that appears like this. Uh, you see bodies on the ground uh, in various states of decay. Uh, you see bodies on tables. You see a surgical washing station with tools in it. And you see what appears to be a table with ri written in blood a magical circle. The language, I'm not sure any of you understand do any of you speak? What is this? One moment. Let the DM consult his book. It's Yiddish. It's not Yiddish. <laughs> that's that's wild. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is actually you would understand this, some of you, because it is written in Sylvan. We basically ah, all can read it. Should have fucking Sylvan. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, we definitely Sylvan. all can speak Sylvan for sure. Sylvan. All of us definitely. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'll approach and uh, try to read. 
Okay, it doesn't actually say anything here. It's just like a magic circle. Go ahead and put yourself in the room. Oh yeah. Uh, next to the table, which is here. Which table? This it... is the table. Okay. This this is the table. surgical sink. This is a Mary's with me the whole time because this okay. is dangerous. Uh, is anyone working. else going in the room, or is yes. are you going into the graded room, or are you like, nah, fuck that? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm. Which taking, is a fair response. I think I'm taking a second. I'll I'll be near because I want to stay near the group. Um, yeah. So I'll be near the door, but I think I'll stay outside of the room. For okay. A I, I think it's a uh, good time to get away from the grate when somebody says they're gonna wear your skin like a fucking suit. You know, it's, yeah, yeah. It's probably yeah. probably will, a good time I, to peel off. I will yeah. actually I'll actually go up to you and kind of very awkwardly. How you holding up? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm great. Never better. Right. Um, cool. Let us know if that changes. If there's anything we can do. And I will retreat because that was so unbelievably <laughs> awkward. Yeah. Uh, Queen, are you going into the uh, the lab room? Who's in here? I mean, ye uh, Clovis, Mazora, and Mary are in there right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Clovis, you see right here, um, there is a stone sticking out of the wall a little bit. Okay. Uh, you imagine that that might be what opens the door. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the runes on the table, Mez, don't actually say anything, but this is some kind of magical circle. Uh, and on the back of it, you see a stack of papers. Well, she did say uh, we have a run of the castle, so I'm going to just take a quick uh, look at them, see if they okay. say anything worthwhile. Um, they seem to be journal entries. Uh, and one of them is dated uh, about 500 years ago, and it says, Beginning to understand my new form and powers. Blood manipulation is strange, but... I was a vampire before. This is just the next logical step. The spores make me strong. We'll continue my experiments. Dr. Seltradot. Dr. Irinia Seltradot. Then there's a few more journal entries of just her experimenting on herself. Then there's one for the from about 300 years ago. Successfully isolated blood pathogen. Blood is mobile outside of my body without no. my control. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> sorry. We'll continue my experiments. Dr. Arinia Seltradot. Two months later. The first experiment was a failure. The body decayed immediately. I have thrown the remains into the grate, so whatever creature lives below this castle can feast on them. I have hidden the artifact. Two months later. Second experiment of failure. Creature maintained life and sentience, but is grotesque of form and horrible to look upon. Still, she is my daughter, so I will care for her in what way I can. No one must see her. Six months later. I have not achieved perfection, but I have come as close as I can. My daughters, beautiful and perfect in form, made of the very blood from my body, safe from harm, so long as they stay inside. Winter's bite freezes the blood mist. Final entry. New visitors in town. I look forward to experimenting on their blood. My daughters are bringing me the boy, Dimitri. He is precious to them. We will give him to the monstrosity. 
she will keep him safe. She will bring them here. Then their blood will be mine. Final entry, Dr. Arendia Seltradont. Dated the day before today. Um, so, and I, I didn't read them out loud, I'll say. Uh, so, journal entries, uh, daughter, um, can anyone here, I know I'm asking a lot of you, does anyone here have the ability to use cold? I'm going to give him a look like. Then you are our best weapon against the sisters, should they come against us. I have one thing I can do. Um, but uh, that is going to be our best bet. However, we have to deal with next door. Um, the whole goal was to get us here using her next door to keep Dimitri safe so that um, Seltradot could get a hold of our blood and experiment. So we should probably get... Um, I'm going to call through the door. Have you decided um, what kind of creature yet? We're, we, we, we think we're close to opening the door. You touched I'm gonna... the book. Mati said never to touch the book. We were not told You're that. You're going to make them angry. Who's they? And as she says, you're going to make them angry. I'm going to move Mary a little bit because she's standing on something. Don't love that. Not great. Not great the at corpses all. Corpses on the ground. Stand up. Holding weapons and dressed in armor. And at the beginning of 2024, we will see if they can fight the Guardians. Mm -hmm.